and welcome to uh, this is a behind the scenes behind the scenes show from Techfluence that we're doing, and and a lot of people don't really get to see what's going on behind the scenes. We actually got the 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 honor and privilege. Um, we've been working with uh, Techfluence now for a little bit, and we've met a lot of cool people from the the last. The last one was when back in October, I think October. it was November. Um, so or September, I don't even remember. <laughs> feels feels like last year. <laughs> so um very, very excited to be talking to several people today. Um, these are gonna be just short, I think it's like no more than 10 minutes. It's gonna be less than 10 minutes that we get to um bring several companies on here and talk about their products. Um, I had a I had a I had a buddy of mine. He was just like, man, you guys are going to talk to how many companies for several minutes? Isn't that like speed dating? <laughs> it pretty much is like speed dating because uh, there's so much more to really be had in conversations with these companies. Um, these are pretty much like a teaser trailer uh, to get involved with or doing your own research, understanding that the products are so much more than you can really talk about in 10 minutes. So uh, I'm looking forward to to meeting so many more companies. Um, there's so many cool products that I've I've seen that is part of Techfluence that I can't wait to either one learn more about or two get my hands on because we're very hands on. We like to get our hands on products um, to test them out, take them to their limits, see what they can do, and all the different uses because we've seen some products that we've met through the last Techfluence where they kind of evolve with the interaction with people. Um, they're maybe created for one purpose, but the purpose changes over time and it evolves with how the customers interact with it or what the customer's needs may be. So it's it's really cool how the customer business interaction works when it comes to innovation. And I'm super excited for that. Same here. Now, you know, keep in mind, anybody out there listening or watching, uh, this, is, this is pre- Pre CES, so this is like a good pre showcase to uh, CES, and uh, TechFluence is doing it in their own very unique way. It's 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 amazing what they're doing, and I'm very excited to, um, I guess the next level <laughs> of where they're going to take things at. Um, so just wanted to confirm, you do have your Telegram open up, right? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, and then the other the other cool thing is we're gonna we're gonna have uh, segments. The other thing that we're gonna we're gonna do for everybody who comes onto the show today is we are going to do a uh, that we have another channel called BS Clips, so Beyond the Streams Clips. And what we do is we turn these full episodes into little bite size. So for each every single individual company, you're gonna find just their own unique little interview on that channel. Um, so just make sure you guys are subscribed to all the different channels. So let's go ahead and kick this off, man. I'm ready. I don't know about you, dude, but let's I'm, go. I'm ready. So the first person we are going to have here is going to be from, uh, Omni labs. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Uh, hello everyone. Yeah. It's great to be on this program and thanks for having us. I'm very excited to be here. Awesome. Um, now, uh, so you are the, the CEO now, how do you, I, I don't want to mess up your name. So how do you say your name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you, uh, you can call me Tuk. Yeah, Tuk. Yeah, and I'm Tuk the CEO and co-founder of Omni Labs. Awesome, awesome. So we we have talked to Tra and um, yep, great. Uh, she, she's just she's just amazing. She's she's really smart. Um, I was able to to uh, check out one of your guys's robots mm -hmm. um, and just kind of driving it around the office. And we had an interview too within the podcast. Right. Um, can you talk a little bit about um, how how this would benefit when it comes to that having that telepresence um, like in a like a work environment? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, just for the audience, right? Uh, uh, our product is a robot. Uh, you can think of it as like a Skype on wheels or, you know, Zoom on wheels that allow people to die in remotely over the internet and your face will show up on the screen and you can drive around uh, and you have two-way video and audio communication with the other side. And so I would say uh, the mobility and the freedom of uh, you know, controlling the robot uh, make a huge difference compared to any other video conferencing uh, platforms out there. And so you can get up close and personal. Uh, you can go find that colleagues that you have some urgent business matters that you need to talk to. 
uh, or you can just drive around in a manufacturing floor, you know, kind of looking at how things are going, making sure that every everything is in order. And so we have seen um, our clients incredibly creative with how they can use our robot uh, to deal with all the aftermath of the pandemic, right? You know, all these restrictions on traveling, uh, all the, you know, social distancing, contactless operation requirement. Uh, it put, you know, a huge uh, burden on the businesses. Uh, and, you know, we're very glad that we could help with our product. Um, you know, we've seen people from uh, providing uh, virtual uh, manufacturing floor inspection, like F-Core, allowing people to go look at uh, an airplane engine through the robot, you know, um, or people doing bespoke tailoring, uh, providing that service to the robot. It blew our mind, you know, it's just incredibly uh, creative. And then, you know, we're glad that we could provide value to our uh, customers. I think it's amazing that you guys have been able to take the concept of a robot and really bring it to a consumer level. Um, you know, we're talking about these robots weighing somewhere around 30 pounds, I believe, right? 30, 35 pounds? Uh, a robot is actually designed uh, to be a bit lighter weight. So, you know, uh, roughly about 20 something uh, pounds. Okay. Yeah. And you amazing. can move it around easily. And yeah. using the abilities of 3D printing, you guys are mm -hmm. able to build these on the fly, get them into people's homes yeah. as an everyday use appliance. And yeah. that's something that, you know, the future is today with that, with that stuff like that. I think it's mm -hmm. amazing. I think what you guys are doing is amazing. It's awesome. Um, Thank you. you know, the sky's the limits. When we were talking in, in the little bit of the pre-show here where it's like, you know, things are created for one purpose, but mm -hmm. the consumer really dictates where that product goes because there's so many different applications right. that the telepresence robot can be used for. What's something that you know, maybe you didn't see coming that is being used for the telepresence robot right now, like an application in an everyday use for a consumer? Yeah, uh, there are quite a few that, you know, we were uh, pleasantly surprised uh, to see how the service was provided to the robot. Uh, but I, I think one of my most favorite, uh, besides the two that I mentioned, was uh, one that uh, at a furniture store, uh, they were selling furniture to the robot. And so allowing, uh, you know, the, their clients uh, to dive into a robot, drive around, because now all of a sudden you can see how the furniture pieces fit together in the arrangement, right? So it's a lot more um, uh, 3D uh, in, a, in a sense than you're looking at furniture picture uh, on, on the website. Uh, and so they managed to generate a lot more sales even within this pandemic when you know, all the offline store uh, get closed down. And so that's something you know, uh, uh, to me is, is actually uh, very meaningful and, and exciting. Yeah, that's actually really cool that, how, that you explain that because it's, you know, typically when you go online, you know, there, there, there's there's that big experience of being in person mm -hmm. versus going through an online store. Yep. And now if you have, man, I don't even know why I didn't like think about this when I was talking to Trav, but this this gets me even more excited about your, your product because it's, you could literally just remote in <laughs> and walk the store without physically being there and see like, like for couches, for example, yeah. there's a big difference when you are looking at it online versus actually standing in front of the, the, the actual product. Yeah, so totally, yeah, I I've seen it. Um, I I've seen it even where they're just like, Oh yeah, some of these products aren't even online. Mm -hmm. This is our, <laughs> our liquidation section. This right, is stuff absolutely. Going in. <laughs> yep, absolutely. And having like a, the, the salesperson or sales manager to walk you through, right? And give them the opinions like, you know, this piece might be, might fit better with the other piece. Let me walk you over there through the robot, right? It's just a much better engagement uh, experience yeah. uh, for the, the uh, customer. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, right now, some of the, like you're saying, giving it a value, like one of the values that we were talking about was, you know, being able to have one at grandma's house and then the family could all remote in and, mm -hmm. and visit grandma. Um, and then, you know, we've also heard it in a very big picture, like you're at the hospital and, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're there visiting somebody that, that can't be home or sick. Um, and then now like th that just, it, it's almost like a trifecta, like, <laughs> like you're right. taking care of like so many avenues. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, I'm very excited to see, uh, what it is that you guys have now. 
the easiest way to find your guys's products is uh what is it omnilabs.com right that's, that's correct uh our website uh, o-h-m-n-i labs.com cool um all right is there is there any last things you want to say before uh we get out of here then yeah, I think you know the we're super excited about uh, the future of robotics, right? I think the pandemic has accelerated maybe three to five years of robotics uh, development and adoption into like one short year, and so you know we're we're looking forward to uh, be able to work with different partners and uh, customers to in order to like build the robotic solution to help them with their businesses. So um, you know I think. Uh, a lot of uh, new stuff are coming up. Awesome. Well, we want to thank you. Uh, thank you for your time and coming here and, and giving us a nice little uh, a rundown of some some cooler stuff that, that, that you guys are doing. So really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having us. Awesome. Thank you. Right. Yeah, <laughs> see take care. You. Bye. See ya. Awesome. 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 Dude, that was really cool, man. It's cool. It's awesome. <laughs> The, like the sky's the limits when it comes to products and innovation. Um, when it comes to manufacturing now, the whole process has completely been innovated. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm 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 very excited, very excited to see what what Omni Labs does. It's 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 great. It, it's great. I, you know, I'm I'm really glad we had that connection with Last Tech Fluence, and I'm glad that we're continuing that connection. Uh, that's one thing that that you know for for you subscribers out there listening there's so many things that you could do with some really cool products this is a a great one so make sure you guys do go to omnilabs.com that's o h m n i l a b s.com so make sure you guys do check them out okay okay cool so is this pictar no this is moving life okay moving life okay moving life moving different, different product same owners. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. Okay. So Pictar, Moving Life, got it. <laughs> this is Rafi. He's the owner of uh, Pictar. I, I, I'm the owner of Pictar, but actually I also involved in, in Moving Life. So depending, first maybe you can, uh, we're in the same building, in a Templar building somewhere out of Jerusalem. So awesome. I, <laughs> So I suggest that we first start with Moving Life and then we will go over to Migo if that's okay for you. Sure. Sure. So Adi is here to show you everything. Okay, guys. Can, can you see me? Can you see the product? Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's a little further back, but we can see it. Can, can you see the most in, innovative product over here that you're having? Can yeah. You see some? Yeah, we can see it. Okay. You heard about the moving line. We're a innovative company that uh, innovated the uh, high-tech company, luxury, luxury uh, product for the high-tech people. We, are, we made the decision to solve mobility solution for elderly people. So we gathered several designers, the most innovative people in Israel, to develop uh, travel mobility scooters, portable, light, and one that you can take it wherever you want, and achieve your dreams. As you can see, this product is very easy to fold, to take it with you as a trolley. That's amazing. And to fly with it. Can you see what I'm showing you guys? Yeah. Okay. Um, I assume that it's not for you yet, but your per but your parents. Or any other person that you can know will be delighted to have a portable, unique scooter that doesn't look like a scooter. It looks like the most innovative uh, mobility solution. And then you can fly with it wherever you want. Although that the COVID-19 these days, it's not allowing us to travel far. We can take it very easily. Uh, to the mall, I'm taking it apart to two pieces, pick it, walk with it, load it to the car, to the car trunk, and then you can travel. Uh, the product is very light, 
As you can see, it, had, it was uh, the tires designed very, uh, it took a long time to design the tires. Um, they are having suspensions inside the tires and we are having a worldwide patent on the tires. Uh, instead of having the, the standard suspensions, um, over here, it can go up to uh, 6.6 6 .6 miles per hour. The range is almost 22 miles. And uh, you, you, can, you, you can have your freedom without uh, needing to have any help. Nice. That's super cool. So to find your guys' product, it's going to be movinglife.com, right? It's movinglife.com. And it's allowing you to be moving and to keep your life. Nice. I love it. I, I love that slogan. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's really cool. What, um, what does charging look like? Um, how long does that take? And uh, what's the process like to charge this fully? Okay. First of all, as you can see, there is a very light battery. To charge it full, it takes four hours. So you can, you can do it either in your home, you can leave the scooter in your car trunk, or it's a stove, and you can take the battery with you, you can fly with it, you can, store, you can charge it in the restaurant or wherever you want. Again, we're talking about portable travel mobility solution for elderly people. Nice. Yeah, I love that. I love that. It's, again, we are, as you know, United States, there are more than 50%. We are talking on 130, 150 million people, elderly people. 50 million, 30% of them are having mobility limitation. I know that uh, in the United States, these days, everyone looks young and fresh. And we can see the, pre the both president, which is our 75 plus, both, both of them, Trump and Biden. Uh -huh. but, uh, we are providing the ultimate mobility product. The people will not be shy and they will be able to go to the mall, to go to the nursing house, to fly over to Europe and even to Israel these days and uh, make the dream happen, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You it's know, awesome. It's awesome. Innovation is always about, or, or, Technology should always be about how to improve our quality of life, right? And in times where social distancing is happening, you don't always have another person to assist you with a lot of these things. And having products like the Moving Life um, to, to take around with you, it gives you that freedom to really explore things and, and the independence to do so with the assistance through technology. So it's really nice to see products like this um, come down to a point where somebody can manage it on their own. It's lightweight, it's portable, um, it's easy to charge. That's one of the things that I really like about it. You don't have to wheel the whole thing over and plug it into a docking station. You can really just remove the battery and have it charged. Um, so I think that this is a pretty cool uh, device and I'm looking forward to, uh, to see more of it for sure. I want to show you one more uh, the latest uh, innovative product that we designed. Uh, it's mainly for the COVID-19. I know that these days we are not allowed to, uh, to sit beside each other and even to fly. So we even develop a special, unique <laughs> product that can be packed very easily in any bag. And over here, you can, people, if they will be afraid to travel with it, so they can sit on the scooter or wherever they want in the office, be protected, continue to do their, their work, to read a book, to have a, a cup of coffee. They, can, they are protected from both sides and even from the, from, from the front, and then they can, they can keep their freedom. Right, right. That's cool. So you don't need, you don't, you don't, you don't need to worry about masks and other stuff. Can they take these right into uh, a store, like a shopping center, like a Walmart or something like that? Yes, of course. You can, you can go with a scooter wherever you want. You can go in any mall. You can go to Walmart, to 
just just uh, be brave. And go. <laughs> if you want, you can even go to a football game, to the NBA, or to any concert. You need, you need to feel free and uh, dream, dream, dream. Use our scooters and it, and, it, and it will happen at the end of the day. And, awesome. and if they wanted to, they could have an additional battery and that would give them another 22 miles. If that, is that correct? Yeah, you can use another battery. You can always take additional battery with you. So we are, we are having, you can take, you can buy a battery, an additional battery. So you can actually extend it. You can double your range up to 45 miles, which is a really long, long range. Um, I don't know. You can you can disappear and you then I probably will uh, remember how to return home if you know what I'm saying. I would not advise elderly people to go so far. Awesome. Cool. All right. Um, well, is there any any last things we uh, you got to say before we uh, let you go, so that way we can let the next person in? Yeah. Um, as you, can, I just want to tell you that it's not easy. You know, these days when you're seeing a unique portable portable scooters, you probably uh, think on uh, some. You, you're not thinking about the design. You only think about the motor and the frame. And over here, what what you try to do to allow, to allow the elderly people to feel comfortable, not to be shy, to feel that they are buying the most luxury car, like they are buying the most luxury car, to buy the most luxury and innovative product, that they will feel comf comfortable and it, and it can be used everywhere. Also, by the way, you can take it to the cruise and use it in, in any cruise. You can just store it under the bed and when you are getting Going down from the cruise, you're traveling or hiking, you can, you can take it with you. Yeah, it's pretty nice, man. Well, uh, we definitely appreciate you. We're going to make sure we leave, uh, we let the people know. You go to movinglife.com to get you guys uh, hooked up with this. Um, yeah, and with all that, uh, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you. Excellent. Awesome. You have a good one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Rojas, who do we have next? All right. So that was, that was, that was some good stuff, dude. That was that was some great stuff. I, I think with the mobility, how you could just take take it apart mm -hmm. and travel with you, there's there, 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 there's some there, there's a gap, I would say for sure, when it comes to stuff like that. Cause I know my grandma had a scooter and it's kind of like you just park it and get out. <laughs> you know, you can't really take it apart and do everything that, that he just, that thing looked like a transformer, just took the whole thing apart. You could travel with it. You could tuck it in places. You could like compact, man. That thing is nice. Very, very nice. Um, So, okay. I think we have uh, the next person we got here is my Milo appliances. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am. Um, so, uh, we want to welcome and let me see if I could say this right. Ivaras, 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 yes, Ivaras. I, I nice to meet you guys. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm Rojas. This is next level. We both have, uh, YouTube channels and, um, we, uh, we, you know, we pretty much review people that have tech related stuff. We review tech product. Um, what is it that you have for us today? Yeah, we we are startup from Europe, so we invented the blend, reinvented the blender actually. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Mashable say, said that if Apple would do blenders, it would be Miller. So that's what the product we're launching actually now in Europe, and soon will be launching in in the US. So uh, I don't know, I have seen before, but uh, the key key innovation is this magnetic air drive, as we call. So so the key technology driven the the blades. Is not mechanical connection, but between blades and the engine, we have magnetic uh, clutch, so magnets catching each other, and then wow. wirelessly they transfer the torque. So I can I can then control the blender uh, via app, or I can control it here. 
So it becomes the most uh, quieter blender. It's the most safer because if I open, there is no spinning things, no mechanical things. You cannot damage yourself. It's portable. So you see, I can make smoothies outside in my terrace or balcony or in, I don't know, on the way to the gym. And it's uh, because of the firmware and the software controlling the blender, we can push with the firmware updates, new features, new functions, new better algorithms, you know, how to manage the battery better or how to make the most silent smoothie when your family is sleeping. Like Tesla car is updating the firmware and you get new features, it's the same here. So it's actually a different product. It's like gadget and consumer appliance in one shot, in one, in one product. And then uh, imagine in the future, actually now we have uh, started with the smoothie jar. So you open, you, you wash on with this part, then you put uh, the drinking lid and you can go in your office or car and drink the smoothie. So family members would have each of one jar and one base for just, you know, making the smoothie. So the main, main advantage difference of this technology is that it's very easy to make smoothie. You don't need to prepare, you don't need you know, to wash, to take out of the cabin, to hide, to look for the you know, plug. Uh, so it's very easy, it's, it's very fast and convenient to make the smoothie. But later after that, we want to launch new, new blending, let's say lids and blending blades for making the same base for grinding your coffee beans, for making the juicer out of this of the same base. So you want sport chase, the most expensive is the base, with the batteries, with the engine, with everything. And then just accessory makes out of that, you know, coffee bean grinder or spicy grinder or or, or juicer. So that's the future of, of uh, end of this year. Now we start with the with the smoothie blender. So it's yeah. amazing because you've reinvented it and created it to be a modular design. So no matter how you choose to change the accessories, it can be applied any way because yeah. the motor is not actually in the part where the blender is. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty brilliant. A lot of people just want tech that works. And because you're able to push firmware, you can change the speed, the functionality of how it rotates, how it blends to work with any kind of blades that comes in accessories down the road. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and that's definitely... Yeah. I, that's definitely one of the ways that you kept it quiet, you kept it convenient, you kept it portable. Um, I'm actually excited to try this out, and I've never really owned a blender. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm huge when it comes to going to the gym, working out, uh, making smoothies, uh, like stuff like that. And and I'm I'm always looking for what is out there that can make it easier. Um, I I for me I I don't like wires. You know, wires could sometimes get messy and, um, you know, they, you know, we, we call it here in the United States, a rat's nest when you just have way too many wires all over the place. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, I, that, that is amazing. How, how long does it hold the charge? So the charge holds for like, uh, from 10 to 15 smoothies, depends what consistency, how, what ingredients you make, because it's not, it's not the mixer. Like you have in the market now, portable blenders that's as, actually, these are mixers. They are too weak for hot ingredients. This one can blend your nuts, your ice cubes, your full size carrots, frozen bananas, frozen berries. So you can make uh, normal, regular hot ingredients, no problem. So if I put a full, full jar of frozen bananas, then maybe it will take about 10 smoothies with, with one uh, charge. But if you make regular smoothies, it will be like 15 easily. Actually, I'm charging once per week using daily. So it's once per week. And initially when we created the product, we thought that, you know, people will be keeping on, on the charge all the time, but when they have to move somewhere, they will disconnect and go, you know, in, in, in another corner. But now when using the product, we saw it's vice versa. People never keep on the cable, even though cable is the same, like from my Mac computer. So it's type C USB. I can charge on with my Mac charger, but uh, I don't keep it on cable. I keep it like this in my kitchen, but once per week, I connect for two hours, two hours and full charge again. So it's very easy, very convenient. Universal charger. Everyone will have one soon. So, yeah, that's awesome. That's 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 amazing. For can, me, can, I, I, can I demonstrate how silent it is? Because oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. actually, you know, it's better in in real environment than yeah. through the Zoom or, or or the video. But still, you can see, feel the difference. So actually, on normal smoothie, the sound is like this. So you can still hear me, right? You you see you see the noise, but it's still there. On maximum twelve thousand RPM is like this. So you can still can hear me, right? 
but that's the maximum and, and maximum you will not use now if i take the regular blender and i turn the regular blender here Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good it's, so, so that's you know amateur demonstration of the difference of the sound, yeah. and it's really different. In in the room, you cannot speak when someone doing blending like that. With right. Milo, you can still still speak, or in the office, let's say, you can still you know hear each other. So it's totally different noise. Yeah, well, especially especially for for families, if you have a yeah, sleeping yeah. baby, that's how like the idea that. came. That's how the idea came. My my. Uh, friend, uh, the founder of Miller, Ruslanas, uh, got baby and he couldn't make smoothies in the morning because he treated one guy. So he googled for the most silent blender, couldn't find, just found a lot of people having the same problem and like small tips how to cover, you know, the blender, how to put on 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 the on the on the wire outside, etc. And then he saw that hey, we need to create one. So that's how the idea came uh, four years ago, actually. So. Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, your the website is getmilo.com. Yes, right? Getmilo.com, yeah, or getmilo, whatever. It's mill. That actually the logo, the name came from the word mill, like like the place where you grind uh, the, the 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 stuff, right? Mill, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the shape O is the shape of this. So Milo, <laughs> that's how we got the name. Awesome. Getmilo.com. Yeah, get me love.com, yes. Uh, com. So we'll, we'll be sure that we put uh, all that information in the in the description of the videos. And then for you to find the video, um, we're going to, once we have it all set up and we have the links, we'll go ahead and share it with everybody. So that way you guys cool. can That's share amazing. it. That works. We will share as well then in our network because we, you know, we, we have broad network as well. Good, good. Thank you. Nice to meet okay. you guys. Nice to meet Thank you guys. You. Take care. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That was, dude, that, <laughs> that was awesome, man. <laughs> like, like, I, like I said before, you know, it's all about making our lives easier in some way, right? And yeah. my brother just had a baby during uh, the last few months. Uh, she's actually turning six. And a lot more people are looking for a natural, healthier way. And nobody wants to wake the baby and make homemade baby food at the same time. How do you do that thing, right? So it's cool. Yeah, for sure. And I'm making sure I did fill out that list. I, I there's a couple of things I didn't. Let's see. Uh, yes, submit. I'm in. <laughs> Definitely excited to check out their stuff. I always like looking at looking for um, cool products like that. So should be good. Um, can't wait to see it. So let me see here. We do have another guest here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him in. John, how are you doing, man? <laughs> Very good. How are you? Good. Now, uh, how do you pronounce the name of your company? Is it MeSkin? Yeah, some say MySkin or some say MeSkin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, it was a two eyes, so I wasn't sure. I'm like, me or my? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. MySkin. I, I normally say MySkin. MySkin. Okay, cool. So um, I'm, I'm Rojas. This is Next Level. Um, we both have... Uh, YouTube channels and we both uh, review anything tech related stuff. We also have a podcast um, where, again, we we interview different people with, um, you know, with with whatever product they have to offer. Um, so, you know, very interested on what you have. Uh, a photographic skin monitoring app is what, it, what I was looking at, which is pretty cool. Um, App for patients to visually be able to track moles and other areas of the skin for changes over time. This is, I think this is amazing. Um, I, I, it's, it's, it's like, you know, a lot of people out there really don't know, like, hey, I got, I, you know, I got a mole and they, and, you know, I got another mole here. They, people think this is an earring. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's kind of like we, we, for, we forget about stuff like this, you know? Um, so can you talk a little bit about, uh, your, your app, what does it do and how can it help us, you know, to main, make sure that our health is good? Yeah. Uh, thank you for inviting me both. It's a okay. pleasure to be here. Yeah. I, I'm, I come from a personal background. My partner is a high, high risk of developing skin cancer and has a lot of moles. And I was just, uh, kind of kind of frustrated over that there was not technology able to sort, support people, consumers, patients at home. So I basically invented MySkin on that price and using images to 
follow and track your skin over time has the basic feature where you can follow close-ups of lesions and moles over time to see how they develop. Uh, and you also have the capabilities of following larger skin areas. And we do create some smart technology combining uh, computer vision, machine learning, augmented reality to help you track these elements over time. It is crucial to say that one in five Americans will develop skin cancer during their life. And one of the most important things you should do at home is to catch anything changing on your skin. It actually, one of the, one of the important uh, new science actually show that 70 to 80% of melanoma actually form as a new mark on your skin. Melanoma is the most dangerous form of skin cancer. Mm -hmm. It forms as a new mark and does not develop from an existing mark on your skin. So catching anything new on your skin is, is, is sound trivial, but it's not. If you have, have how long ago did you look when, when did you last time look at your back? And mm -hmm. I can tell most people, no, they don't, uh, they don't do anything on the back unless it's really bumping out of the back so you cannot see it. <laughs> and that is how we created technology to support you with taking these images and structure that information. I don't know if I can share some images with you or anything because I can easily showcase. Can I push the share screen? Yeah, yeah definitely. Hit the share screen and we'll... Uh... Definitely yeah. put it up there. So, so basically, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. So, if you want to look for new, anything new on your skin, this is a normal body, normal image. They've taken this 254, uh, 55 days between these images. We have a skin mapping feature where they actually identify, where we're combining computer vision and machine learning to identify these elements. And you can have a close-up look of, of these to see if you can, if anything has been changing or particularly if anything new has. You can see how these are still the same, which is a good thing. And you have the capability of doing that with your smartphone technology at home in between whatever clinical consultation program you're in. So this is a way of taking control of your life. But one thing we realized when we created this smart feature to be used at home, the, one, the first people that were using this actually asked us, well, how am I gonna take these images? How am I gonna standardize these images? Currently we have approximately 600,000 downloads and users using this all over the world. And what we then created was we created a technology that could capture the image in a standardized way. I'll just showcase you here very quickly that this is. Position the phone as shown and get in front to start image. I hope you can see this. Sure the book yep. And yep. Not block the camera view. This is a technology that analyzes the surroundings, guides you with an audio voice. <laughs> That's and, cool. and then takes the images in a standardized way for you. Two. Taking these images is not is not trivial. So this was one of the largest barriers we realized when people wanted to use the technology, they were sitting at home and could not take these images. This is just an idea to give to, to give you how we have created different types of smart technologies where we combine machine learning, computer vision, all these elements in order to create. Uh, uh, something uh, useful and convenient for the user to be used at home. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I can admit it. I'm a hard headed kind of guy when it comes to going to a doctor. And I think we all know <laughs> a lot of other males in particular who are, I'm sure there's females as well, but I'm speaking on my behalf here. Um, you've really taken something that um, we would have to go to a doctor frequently. And by the time I would go personally, I would say I would, I'd admit this, it would be too late. And you put that power into my own hands and you've made it completely um, easy and, and, and thoughtless to do. Um, and, and, and you thought out the whole process. It, it's, it's amazing because, you know, sure, I could download this app. How am I going to take this picture? I'm not going to do it. It's too much work. You know, never mind. But when you showed it like that, it was so simple. Um, it lined you all up. And because it lined you up, the picture you take today and the picture you take next year it's so much easier to compare and it's so exactly. much easier for the algorithm to track. Like that's, it's absolutely brilliant. 
I think what you guys are doing is some some awesome work over there. So um, I'm, thank I'm you very much. <laughs> I, I can I can tell you. I think uh, without bragging too much, I can tell you we're probably the most uh, most trusted platform used by the doctors. We have on, over 160 hospitals and clinics recommending this to patients to use at home and we have the first customers professionally like doctors uh, integrating into their platform so that when you see something when you have something to discuss with your doctor you can easily share that information you know especially during these times under the pandemic it's not it's not trivial to visit your doctor about something specific sitting on your arm or on your on on, on your back but these high quality images can easily be shared with your doctors and we're implementing that now mm -hmm. Absolutely. So the 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 easiest way to find you guys is me skin with two eyes, M I I skin dot com, right? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, cool. Um, is there any last things you want to tell the audience before we get out of here? No, I'm uh, I'm very happy to be, to be a part of your program. So contact and reach me. Reach out to me if you need anything more. For sure. Awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks again for coming on to the show. And uh, yeah, well, we'll definitely be in contact. Thank you. Enjoy right, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. 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 Man, that's some, <laughs> that's some next level stuff. Like, that, I don't that's know, cool it, tech. yeah, that's some cool, cool tech. I don't I, even I, know what more you can say besides just seeing it in action. Like, mm -hmm. oh, how am I going to take that picture? Well, he showed you. Like, what else? You <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I and, and I agree too. It's it's I like I like how how he showed the the back, how you could see everything there because it's 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 like one of those things that you're just like, <laughs> what's on my back? <laughs> what was the last time you looked at your back? That's what he asked you. I don't think I've ever looked at my back. <laughs> yeah, so that's great. It's some great information, great stuff. Um, check the description below. Check the links. Uh, MeSkin.com is where you can get uh, this information. Um, so make sure you do get hooked up with that. Now we do have um, we do have another one coming in right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get him in here. Uh, welcome, Hello. Um, San. Is it Sankar? Yeah, Shankar. Shankar uh, from uh, Audis. Odyssey. Odyssey. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm totally butchering it. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. Um, so my name is Rojas. This is Next Level. Um, we're both uh, content creators on YouTube. We do a lot of uh, tech product reviews. Um, so um, we appreciate you coming on to the show. Um, when we're done recording, what we do is we're going to be taking small little snips of um, this whole uh, show. And we're going to post it up on YouTube and we'll share the link. So that way you could also watch it, rewatch it and share it with, uh, you know, with your media circle. So, um, yeah. So uh, welcome to the show. Um, very excited to talk about your product. Um, if you can, I, I was just going through the website, a wireless planner, magnetic gaming headset. Um, so can you give us some more information about this, please? Sure. Uh, Odyssey is a, uh, company in Orange County. We have a factory here in Orange County and we make most of our headphones here. Um, am I loud enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so a typical, you know, unlike most uh, companies, um, we make our own um, speakers from the ground up. We make our own thin film, we etch it um, and make the speakers and that the speakers typically look like this. Um, mm -hmm. So these are highly accurate speakers and we started off making uh, in our speakers for uh, mixing and mastering engineers initially. So two years ago, we started making our first gaming headset, which was called Mobius with our head tracking and other technologies. Um, and uh, last uh, couple of months back, we introduced our uh, planar drive, uh, planar headphones for both uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. So these are uh, wireless headsets. Obviously, with consoles, everybody wants wireless headsets. So um, these are the um, this is the Xbox version of it, um, and uh, the PlayStation version looks similar. Um, and uh, uh, these are super accurate. They use both Bluetooth and uh, 2.4 gigahertz, so you can switch back and forth if you want, or even mix the audio. For example, if you're uh, playing a game, but you want to chat with somebody on Discord, you can just uh, 
enabled it on Bluetooth. And the other important thing that um, we worked on to really get it right is the microphones. So we partnered with uh, Shure and Shure helped us design the microphones for uh, these. Yeah. So this is a broadcast quality capsule um, we put in. And uh, so probably the best sounding headset for consoles um, in the market. That's awesome. Um, so Rojas has a PlayStation 5. I have an Xbox Series X. Um, and we love Shure because we're both using Shure microphones. <laughs> like, that's what we're using. Um, so I think it's, it's, it's awesome that you guys are building things from the ground up. I, I have actually a very close family member of mine that has his own uh, subwoofer factory and he makes everything from the ground up. So I, I've seen that process. Um, it's a really cool uh, ability to create everything from the ground up. Um, what would you say really sets your your product apart now i haven't really heard of a, a, a headset being able to kind of do dual input like that so if, if could i be inputting a phone call as well as listening to my game with the same headphone as well yeah so there is a small method in there um and for example i mean there's a couple of other headsets that have started doing it as well so you can have a dongle connected to your playstation so for 2.4 gigahertz low latency wireless but um, not just even a phone call. Let's assume that you have to chat with your friends on uh, Discord. Yeah. So you're playing on your Switch. You want to chat on Discord. You could just uh, pipe in the Discord chat through your um, Android phone or iPhone. Mm -hmm. So you can continue chatting and uh, playing the game. You can hear both audio at the same time. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. It's cool that you said you're in Orange County because um, I'm originally from Orange County, uh, Santa Ana, Irvine area. Yeah, yeah our factory is in Santa Ana. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so just behind um, um, on Harbor and uh, 405. <laughs> we think we probably are the biggest headphone manufacturer in the U.S. because hardly anything gets made here. Yeah, right. yeah, hardly anything. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, I was actually born and raised off of Warner and Rate, um, right down the street off of Warner and Bristol. Yeah. Um, so, I, I, like, right now I'm in San Bernardino, so I'm only about 40, 45 minutes away. So, um, that's super, super nice. Um, now, what, what is the what, what is the battery life with these uh, with so these headsets? Can, it depends. Um, uh, uh, with the um, um, 84 dB output, we get about 15 hours of battery. But if you add Bluetooth and uh, uh, 2.4, it might reduce it a little bit. If you're just doing analog, it probably will get you a little bit more. So nice. and, 15 hours of battery. And is it? A, it's an entire ear cup, right? Uh, it's a, it's a full over ear headphone. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, USB C, analog audio and uh, wireless and Bluetooth. Cool. Does Now, does the mute go in and out off the button, or is the mute, can you mute off of the, like, how is it that, that you can mute off of the headset? Just a button. Okay. okay. Yeah. And um, you also have an app on Android and Windows. So most of the controls are also available on the Android headset. Uh, uh, so think of it as, like, you can just take your app and then control the headset as well. That's cool. Yeah. So it's it's a um, uh, easier way of controlling things, with especially if you have it on the console and you don't want to um, change. You, for example, if you want to change the chat game mix on your Xbox, you can just use the app to control it. Also, how long has Odyssey been around? So we started off in two thousand nine. So it was most mostly a hobby at that time. Um, it was started off as a hobby and then we slowly, in 2013, we started our factory. Yeah. Um, uh, we started our factory and um, uh, we have been making headphones uh, ever since, yeah. Because I've seen that you guys have some really audiophile style headphones. Did you guys use some of your other headphone designs to implement into your gaming headphones as well? What did that process look like when you were creating, uh, it looks like a different uh, market for headphones, right? Yeah. So our uh, initially we started off as an audiophile company uh, and uh, pro audio. So from the very beginning, both uh, professional uh, musicians and sound engineers have been using it. Uh, in 2013, we started our factory here, and uh, slowly we have been automating it. 
So the things that we used to do by hand to make these speakers like thin film, casting the film or even etching it, we have now started automating it. So we can now make a speaker every 18 seconds. Wow. So that allowed us to go in and um, go to a more uh, expand our user base and create more affordable headsets. So one of the things that really helped us was um, word of mouth uh, in the initial days, because one sound engineer would listen to it and say, hey, this looks like my studio uh, sound and introduce us. So um, we thought also gaming would be something where we can have our own, you know, high quality sound that we can bring the same thing. So the drivers that we make are essentially the same. Um, we have a uh, so we make the drivers and for the gaming headsets, the only difference is we make the speakers here and assemble the final assembly with the electronics is done in China. For our audio file and pro audio headsets, everything gets done here. Awesome, cool. All right. Well, uh, thank you for that. All for that. That, that was some really good information there. Uh, we'll be sure to uh, leave leave the website below. So the way to get in contact with you guys is uh, Audis A U D E Z E dot com. Right. Yeah. Audis dot com, and you can find us. Um, and if you guys are in local, I mean, since you are in San Bernardino, you know, if you ever want to come by and visit, you're always welcome. So. Oh, definitely. I would. I would love Don't to take have a tour. Out. You'll never get rid of them. <laughs> You'll never get rid of me. <laughs> Come by one day. So. Awesome, thank you. I, I did fill out the 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 request, um, so uh, we'll 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 get in contact, and then maybe we could schedule something. Definitely. Awesome. Thank Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah. Bye. See ya. Cool, dude. <laughs> dude, really cool stuff, man. I love that. I I, I love I, one. I love that he's local. Um, local for you. Local for me. <laughs> As I know, I'm across the border with my Tim Hortons over here. And, <laughs> and he extended the invite, so I'm coming. Hey, <laughs> I'm going to come, I I'm gonna come check it out if for sure. For anybody who's listening right now, if you're behind the scenes waiting to come into the show, don't invite Rojas. You'll never get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> don't scare people away. <laughs> but well, hey, on the plus sure. side, I will be making some good videos, though, and good reviews. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, one of the things that I was looking at really quickly before we jump into the next one was that was the pro audio, right? For 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 instance, you and I, we we have next gen consoles. So yeah, there's there's the headphones for those. But what about when we're editing our videos, right? I do a lot of my work, I'm not gonna lie, between the hours of 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. And I don't necessarily want to wake up, you know, my son or anybody else. So, but I also want to make sure that I'm getting the cleanest sound when I'm doing my edits, right? So I've been looking into possibly what headphones I can use for editing. And some of those headphones he had looked really nice for the pro audio line. So I'm excited all around for every company that's come through so far. So I know there's some good things coming. I can't wait. Yeah, for sure. All right. I'm excited, man. The, let's see. Let me look at this list here. Go Sun. I'm going to go ahead. Okay. I see him in the background. So. Uh, Patrick from Go Sun. Hey, what's happening, guys? Thanks for having us. Good. Nice to meet you. Um, so just a quick little intro. Um, I'm Rojas. This is Next Level. Uh, we both have YouTube channels. Uh, we like to re review uh, tech, anything tech related. Um, we also have a podcast and we like to interview people within that podcast. Um, again, anything that's tech related. So good, good stuff. Um, yeah, and I so I was briefly looking at your uh, website, and GoSun looks like they have a lot of cool things: uh, ovens, coolers, chargers, lighting, a um, lot of good stuff. So, uh, what do you have for us today? I guess. Yeah, well, we're dedicated to bringing portable power solutions to the people. Um, I've been in solar for a couple of decades, and we've kind of combined. Uh, really efficient solar technology with electronics and controls that you guys know all about with lithium ion batteries. And now our, our whole array, I've got a, a, a solar kitchen. And inside this portable solution here is the ability to cook, uh, to cool. This is a um, portable 12 volt fridge um, to clean. So this is a little portable sink. Uh, it can also purify water. Uh, to charge, to light, and to brew. So we also launched a um, 
a coffee, uh, an all-in-one coffee making solution. Um, so this was this was in response to all the fires that we were seeing out west and in Australia this past year. Um, yeah. In a lot of campgrounds, you're not allowed burning things anymore. So um, in this product is a tra- travel mug, and it has a has a French press uh, incorporated and a 12 volt heater. So uh, so you know I've got a lot of cool things to do. The, the bit of a show and tell, but I'd be stoked to hear what you guys are interested in. You know, it, it's. I was looking at your website yesterday with my girlfriend and I was like, look at all this cool stuff. One of the hardest things with solar technology is power because you can't really harness a lot of power from it. So it's really impressive. All the things that I saw on your website from the water purification, which that blew my mind right there, purifying water through the power of solar energy. Like, I don't think I've seen that anywhere else before. That's amazing. There's so much good things, even like a cooler, a solar powered cooler. Like that's taking, you know, your backyard beer fest to the next level because <laughs> you, I don't think I've ever I've seen anyone with a, a powered cooler before. So there's so many cool things that I see you guys doing that, um, you know, I, I would love to try out some way, somehow. But um, yeah, oh, thanks. So much good stuff. I, think, I think the main reason that we can do this is because um, we make sure that all the times that we're using energy, it's done in the most efficient manner. Um, so our consumption is ultra low, which enables all of this technology to run on simple little solar panels. Of course, um, you know, this is kind of the smallest panel. This would be like 10 watts and it's got 10 USB so you can go straight to a cell phone. But then we go up uh, from there, say, for example, this is a 30 watt panel. Um, and this this would then often, you know, it can go straight into a cell phone or it would feed it would feed one of our power banks. So inside this power bank is 144 watt hours. It's, uh, I think, the equivalent of like 70,000 milliamp hours. It charges 10 cell phones. And then um, you've got, you know, you got your 12 volt. And we've got larger power banks. And even um, the table here that, this, that all of these products are on, that's a solar system. So there's 120 watts coming out of that that can also, you know, fuel into these into these power banks and these power banks would then run all the other appliances, what have you. Yeah. Awesome. I'm okay. So me, the first thing, like the, as soon as I saw your website, cause uh, I'm, I'm big into camping. I'm big into being in the outdoors. Um, I'm, I'm huge with, and I'm always looking, I, I literally like maybe a few weeks ago, I got, a uh, company sent me a a charging station, a big power charging station, and I was super excited to think like, oh my gosh, this is awesome! I can plug in so many things to this thing. Now that I'm looking at your guys' stuff with all solar panel, I'm just like that. That doesn't look too cool to me anymore. Now I'm just like, wait a minute, this is awesome because it's smaller, <laughs> compact, um, and oh, yeah, I'm 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 definitely excited to see everything that you have. Um, Thanks for really check it out. You know. You know, there's a lot of companies doing the the power bank thing, um, and and that's great. Uh, making you know, making portable power available. We kind of focus on it from a different perspective, and we we focus on the essential need that's being met by that with that power. So we started out with these cooking devices. Um, quickly, how they work is um, there's a, a vacuum tube here. Uh, two layers of Pyrex glass with a vacuum between them, making a perfect insulator. These things can make a meal in 20 minutes uh, using nothing but sunshine. And then uh, we hybridize that. So we have like, here's my, this is my lunch. And then I've got an electric uh, 12 volt heater on here that uses one tenth of the electricity of a typical toaster oven, uh, which would cook food about the same speed and volume. Using, I'm using one tenth of the energy because I'm inside a vacuum tube. And then, you know, ultimately that's kind of where we started. Then we went into the refrigeration. So we have the ability to cool using solar power. Then we got into this cleaning device, which is, you know, the kind of the water purification and sanitation system, right. charging, lighting. And we, you know, we kind of focus on the essential need. And, and we even just recently launched a shelter. We launched a tiny house that's all solar as well. So we're, we're kind of really trying to address needs and seeing what uh, appliances and what amount of power or solar you need to run those needs. And if you make the, if you make the product ultra efficient, 
then you don't need this massive bulky solar system to fuel it. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's funny. I, uh, I purchased a power bank for my personal use a few months ago and, um, you know, I have it in my hand here. It had the plug and I was super excited to plug something into it and test it out. And when I did my review, I plugged in a toaster and I was like, I can't even make toast off this. What if I wanted to make toast and I needed power to do something? So when I start looking at this, I don't need, because I started obviously realizing that there's different amperages for different appliances and, and you know, they have their, their cutoffs so that it saves themselves and the circuitry and everything. But when you're able to run technology like this and make not just the power more efficient, but how the actual appliance works more efficient it only makes sense like yeah i think that's really where the trick is is um you know like like our, our cookers i just shared our cooker uses one tenth the electricity of your toaster oven and so now instead of a giant generator when you want to go off grid um we you know you can run our cooking device on this little guy this is the same thing as lugging around a 100 pound gas fire generator this is what i call the fuel canister of the future and um, and so making things use less uh, with without compromising their convenience or their performance is really kind of the trick. For example, with our our water purification and sanitation system, um, I've got water dispatchable at the push of a button, and and this is um, one liter one liter per minute. Now, typically, a faucet at home is like three gallons per minute, so it's just like ten times more more water. Um, but with one liter, I can do everything I need. I can I can wash my hair, wash the dog, wash the dishes, wash my hands. And so it's like, why are we, you know, we're making our problems because we think that we need to, you know, have all this heavy stuff at all times, right? That's yeah. Cool. Now, now, um, man, okay. So I have my email on the side here, Rojas entertainment at gmail.com. Yeah. We have to get you on a longer show, like a podcast episode. If you're to interested, talk about all this stuff. <laughs> you know, um, I also, I think I did fill out the, the request also. So you'll have my, my email. So it's just Rojas entertainment at gmail.com. Um, I really want to continue the convo cause there's, you have a lot of crazy nice products. So, the best way to find you right now uh, for anybody out there listening is going to be gosun.co, right? You got it. Awesome. Thank cool. you. Anything else that you want to say before we go? Oh, grateful for you guys. Appreciate you doing this. Cheers. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. You have a good one. You too. See ya. Cool. Man. Okay. First thing I was thinking is next level is going to get a hold of one of those and start cooking his chicken wings. <laughs> I have a thing with chicken wings. I can't, I can't deny it. I have a thing with that chicken wings. That is, <laughs> for anybody out there uh, listening or watching us, um, when we started our podcast, and even actually before we started our podcast, the running joke that we've always had was I had to always check in. Next level, did you eat today? He's like, yeah. What'd you eat? Chicken wings. It was always chicken wings. So from our first episode to uh, our from our live shows, a hundred episodes later to our podcast, it's always been how many chicken wings you eat today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm 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 very very excited uh, to see what they got. So, okay, I don't want to keep him waiting. Um, I, I I I'm for me this is I, I'm super excited for this one. Very very excited. Um, we got Ari from one more. Hey guys, How are you doing, Ari? <laughs> I'm doing good. It's a little hard to follow the Patrick the, from before. That guy's got some really cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> um, so- on the chicken wings, too. I mean, it, those are hard to quit. But thanks. Right? It's, it's the meal it's- plan. That's what you got to live off of. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, we make headphones, so I can't help you out on, on uh, cooking your chicken wings, but I can help you with some tunes while, while you're grooving out to... Uh, you're making your chicken wings. So uh, thank you guys for, for having me on. appreciate it very much. Absolutely. Yeah, I've, we've definitely have checked out your guys' products at One More. Um, I don't know if you can see in the back. I got some One More products right there. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, always, I'm always excited to see what One More has. Um, so if you can give us, uh, I, I guess, what is it that you guys are, are showing off today at TechFluence? Right. So, um, well, I have two, two new products that, um, l- literally no one has yet. And, um, 
you know, I'm going to go out there and say that these are, are the AirPods killers. I mean, that that's what we're going for with these two products. That's All the right. market we're going on. We're going after, uh, we will leave it up to the consumers to, to really judge, I guess, uh, wh whether we've met that, that standard. Um, but I'll show you the, the two of them. I have both here. We have, this is our com new Comfo Buds and our Comfo Buds Pro. So mm -hmm. these are brand new, the Comfo Buds, these ones I'll show first. They're, they're available as of today on the one more website. Um, and these would be going head to head with the Apple AirPods second generation. Uh, mm -hmm. and we believe that we are definitely better on price and we are better on comfort and we are better on sound quality. Uh, and I can show you the buds a little bit. One is the, the really small form factor. So these are about the size of a lipstick case. So super small uh, form factor um, in there. And that's something we want to address. Um, one of the things that we also want to address is the comfort in the earbuds. So one of the things that Apple, um, I, I guess, neglected is that their AirPod style um, tends to sit on the outside of the ear and it can fall out um, mm -hmm. for many people. It doesn't quite fit snugly. So I don't know how well you can see this, but we, yep. We've taken our kind of ergonomic approach to that and extended the acoustic tube a little bit. Right. Uh, we've added um, an additional silicone um, tip here. Um, and what that's going to do is really, really ensure uh, a, a perfect fit, <laughs> which is something that is kind of elevated you know, above um, what Apple um, is doing. And that that's one of the, the big innovations there. Uh, another thing is uh, we've added... Um, four ENC mics to this instead of two. So Apple will use two to do their performing. This now has four. So it's really going to improve the, the quality of the phone calls that you're making um, and just, you know, reduce the, the outside um, noise. Um, this will retail for $59. Um, so again, it checks the box of, of being an extraordinary value and then also has on board the One More Signature Sound, which is really what One More is famous for. So all of our products are, are tuned in-house by, by our sound engineering team. Uh, and it's really what has separated the One More products um, from a lot of other stuff that, that's out there. Um, I, I recently did a review on the, the One More True Wireless ANC ones. And I actually, I really liked everything from the packaging right to the, the, the actual earbuds themselves. So I'm super excited to see what the new ones are looking like. Did you say that one there was going for 60 bucks? This one is $60. Yeah, actually. And, and just, just for a limited time for the launch, um, they're $10 off. So you can actually grab these for $49 for probably the next <laughs> Killer. <laughs> right now on, on the website um and and we're, we're very proud of these uh, and this comfo bud series is really what we you know are positioning to be the the airpods killers uh, i think a lot of companies uh, have decided not to go up against apple for all the obvious reasons they can outspend you they can out research you but um you know we we really want to innovate some some ways to do you know some things better than apple or at least on par with what they're doing and we think at least in, in price sound quality and comfort that that we are um, uh, elevating um above and that is just on that one generation of of the, the airpods you know i think um too many companies thought in order to compete with apple they had to be like apple and it's good to see that you guys are doing your own innovations. You're putting your own spin on things and you're showing that you can stand out by being yourself. You can stand out by being one more. You don't have to be a copyright product of Apple to compete with them. So I think it's pretty awesome for sure. You know, uh, the, the one thing I know, I know you were saying earlier about, you know, can't really compare it to chicken wings, but <laughs> while, while you're, while you're hanging out, listening to your, your music, using your one more, you could be eating your chicken wings. <laughs> And Good. with the the, uh, the the cancellation, because he's got four mics on there for the active noise cancellation, you won't even hear yourself crunching. So, hey. <laughs> so so th this is the other product, which uh, literally just came off the, the manufacturing line. This is the Comfo Buds Pro, which would be going after the, the AirPods Pro. So we have two in the series, right? One to go after the second gen, one to go after the Pro. And the, the addition to this is, is um, our QuietMax ANC suite. Um, so you're going to have um, multiple modes of ANC, including low, mild, high. We also have a wind noise reduction mode and a pass-through mode. Um, the, these are a little bit meatier uh, as far as size, but they do follow that same um, form factor that we're going to, which is kind of elevating that oblique angle um, and adding that silicone tip, um, which is, you know, you would see generally more in, um, you know, audiophile products. 
that's really going to create uh, the seal that you need in your ear for the ANC to work effectively. So the way ANC works in R is we use a hybrid method. So there are two uh, ANC microphones. There's a feed forward and a feedback one. One is uh, canceling the noise from the outside. And the other one is actually canceling the noise that occurs just with inside your eardrum uh, in that little space, uh, doing the in-ear microphonics and reducing that. So it uses a hybrid design. But if you don't have a good seal, um, that technology won't work. So we really want to um, make sure that our users have a really good fit um, and that that's the additional um, you know, upgrade here. So again, we have two choices for consumers. Um, this one's going to retail. The pro is going to retail for $99. So it, it's still half the price wow. of what you're getting for um, the AirPods. Uh, and again, we think we're doing better on the price, obviously comfort, sound quality, and also the AMC functionality. And these ones is better than, than what Apple is currently. Awesome. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for, for what you guys are doing. Um, you know, I've, I've done the, the color, the color, color pods. Um, I've done the, the neck one, the, what the magnet, uh, yeah, you, you guys have some really great stuff. Um, um, I, I did fill out the form, so hopefully we can get our hands on some of the stuff so that way we could, uh, obviously review it on our channels and stuff. Um, but, uh, the easiest way to find, uh, for anybody out there listening, the easiest way to find you guys is going to be usa.onemore.com, right? Yes, cool. Sir. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you want to add before we let you go? No, I think we pretty much covered it. Um, like I said, the only thing I add is we have a, a special on our website right now for limited time. So if you wanted to check out um, the Compo Buds uh, version, you can get them for $49 for a limited time. So, so now's a great time to get them. Awesome. Great deal. Cool. All right. Thanks for coming. Uh, hopefully we could, uh, you know what, hopefully we can get you on an episode on the, on the podcast. Also, it'd be great to talk about, uh, head headphones, earbuds, all that stuff. So, um, you know, you have my contact information, Rojas entertainment at gmail.com and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch. Awesome. Thank you guys for having me on. Appreciate it. Have a great Thank you. day. Thanks. You take care. Bye-bye. Awesome. Yeah. I'm excited about those earbuds, man. I, I know we've both been able to play with some other product, so I'm very, very excited uh, to, to to get my hands on them. So I know you just you just played with yours too, right? I just yes, I just unboxed my set of one mores. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys are watching his video. So uh, with all that being said, too, we also have. Uh, oh man, okay, so. I know I'm saying her first name right. It's the the company no, Noi Noi. <laughs> so um, I've I've been able to play with several of their products in the past. So uh, let's go ahead and welcome Anna. Anna, how are you doing? Hello, I am good. I'm sorry, my light just fell. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, nice meeting you. Um, glad to be here with you guys on this interview. And yes, you did say the um, brand correctly. It's Nui, and I named myself Nui Anna. <laughs> well, hi, Nui Anna. <laughs> um, so I'm Rojas. This is Next Level. Um, we both have a we both have YouTube channels, um, and we both uh, respectfully review uh, tech products. And we also uh, combined uh, a, a channel called Beyond the Streams, where we do a podcast. Um, so. Um, we love to talk about tech. We love to talk about all the latest and greatest stuff that's com that's coming up in the future. Um, uh, Noi has had some some stuff in the past that I've used, and and oh, wow. when I was when I was a little, I guess a little a little Rojas, <laughs> um, <laughs> I was I wasn't sure how to use some of that smart products. Like the the, the one thing that I was using was. Um, uh, what is it? The the outlets, the smart outlets. Okay, the plugs. So, uh -huh. Yeah, so I I was just like I was trying to connect it to like the five gigahertz, and I'm like this isn't working. And then I started googling things, and and I and then a lot of people are like, oh yeah, look look at this, look at this. I'm a guy. I don't like to read. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> I'm on. Thing, yeah, I'm on with you on that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I finally, I, I, I took a pause. I'm like, let me look at the product again. I opened it and it said right there, make sure you're connected to 2.4. Yes. Uh, I'm like, oh, that's why. So, 
once I figured it out, I started, I actually, uh, I would have to say, uh, your company was what got me started in smart home automation. Um, so oh. with, so with that being said, I'm actually very interested on what you have to show us today. So if you could, if okay. you could take it away for us, please. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so I guess I'll start off with a little background of Nui. Um, so Nui was founded in 2018 by two friends um, who believe that smart home technology um, can be very, uh, doesn't have to be very cold or ugly looking or to be difficult to use. Um, so our co-founders launched Nui to offer people smart home products to improve their lives. Um, we try to target our products as to be easy to use, beautiful to look um, at, and at the same time, very affordable to own. Um, and another thing I want to highlight would be our market differentiation, where we try to have our products very stylish, intuitive, and very trustworthy. I think that's a very important um, uh, important personality of us, characteristic of us. Um, we really care about our customers, and especially that we are working with, uh, with security. Um, so I think trustworthy will be very important. And at the same time, we want to make sure all of our products are very affordable to purchase. Um, mm -hmm. So I think right now I don't have all the products with me, but I would like to show you our bestseller. Um, I have this at home. I use it at home. Um, it is a Nui 360 cam. Um, what it does is it could turn um, 360 as the name, of course. Mm -hmm. And this is one of our bestseller. We're currently sold, selling it on Amazon, our website, on Adroma, and also Target.com. Um, and this mm -hmm. product itself uh, right now achieved um, a uh, 4.3 star uh, review on Amazon and with over 60,000 uh, 6, reviews. Um, so I think that's a very, um, very nice accomplishment for, for us. Um, and we have been rated um, in the CAM category for the six uh, top six product in our category. So that was uh, a really nice surprise for us to end uh, the year of 2000. 2020. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. um, so another product that I want to also um, introduce today will be the um, new e cam doorbell. Um, it's something that we just recently launched. It's one of our newest product. Um, it was launched um, back in July 2020. And uh, we did an Indiegogo campaign. But so far, this product has been launched on Amazon and our website as well. So you can purchase if you are in the USA. And later on, we'll have the Europe. Uh, Europe version available as well. Um, yeah, I, I think that's two I would like to point out. And also we have another cam that's for the outdoor. Um, if you guys do a lot of outdoor activities, um, you need something to monitor your backyard, front yard. Um, sometimes people don't you know, the ring, the doorbell doesn't cover everything, but for a cam that can be uh, melted, you know, on the ceiling or on top of near the roof, um, it could probably see a wider uh, vision of, you know, monitoring your driveway, monitor your neighborhood. Um, and our products are very easy to install. Um, none of the products would uh, cost you more than five minutes for the installation. And also um, our APP, Nui APP is very easy to use since you had the, you know, the plug. Um, you can tell that our APP is designed um, to be very user friendly. We don't want to make too much confusion or unneeded fancy function in our APP. Instead, we created the APP to offer just enough functionality for people to use. Um, I would think our product is very, um, it has a wide range where younger generation and also alders can use our products. Yeah, and it fits in your everyday life very nicely. <laughs> Any questions for me? I may be going off sure, too yeah. much. I mean, just looking over yeah. some of the products, it looks like it actually belongs where you put them. Like they're made to look like they belong there. And I really do appreciate the aesthetics of, you know, what you guys put into your products. Um, I, I noticed that there's a theme with animals and pets. Um, did that influence any of your products uh, when you were designing them or coming up with them? Oh, that's a very, very good question. Um, to be honest, we didn't really think about, you know, what uh, market we want to target our product to begin with. Um, after 
after we created the new we uh, cam 360 it became one of our best seller and somehow we f figured that you know targeting it to the baby monitor and also pet monitor created a bigger audience for us um, and after noticing that, um, we started to um, go our ways to, you know, work with a lot of pets um, related audience. And at the same time, also, you know, um, younger, like, you know, babies or even elders. We have um, quite a few really uh, touching stories where our customers share with us that um, our products actually save their pets life. So we had two um uh, uh, customers who had their dogs was chewing on a plastic bag and we had another <laughs> pet uh, owner found that their dog was chewing a box of chocolate and these all happened just recently over the Christmas break they forgot you know they they didn't forget I, I wouldn't say but they somehow left a box of chocolate under the Christmas tree that they didn't know it was chocolate in the box. So they oh. caught the dog, the, their goat dog eating the chocolate on their bed. Mm -hmm. And then she quickly rushed home after seeing that footage on our cam um, and it saved her dog's life. So after knowing these stories from our customers, it's very touching for us because we are actually making a difference in people's lives. So I think that's, that's really cool. And I like to point that out to you guys. That's awesome. Yeah, so coincident. <laughs> coincident that yeah. we are now in the pet industry. Yeah. Now I, I know we're going to need more time to talk with you for of sure. Course. Yeah. I, yeah. I know like 10 minutes is just not enough time. So uh, I did, I do have my email in the private chat. If you see it, uh, Rojas entertainment at gmail.com. Um, if you can shoot us an email, yeah. would love to have you like maybe on a podcast interview to talk about some of the products, how to really set it up. Um, and, and just, you know, to really dive into some of this stuff. I think our, our listeners are, are, they love, they love how to make things smart and easy. So, um, you hit both of those. You're like, yeah. this is really easy, less than five minutes. And I love when things are easy. I, I've tried products in the past and I'm just <laughs> staring at it like why is this so difficult <laughs> that's right most people don't like to read the manual i'm one of them yeah. so of course i would definitely be happy to join another interview with you guys um and you know to talk about more and i will be more than happy to work with you guys on future collaborations because we do work with a lot of influencers um youtubers and i think you guys are awesome i would love to work with you guys in the future all right awesome. thank, um, you. thank you for having me i'll let you guys go and we'll keep in touch thank you take care thank you take care bye-bye bye-bye it, it's awesome crazy. there's so much um in the beginning rojas mentioned that i can be long-winded sometimes so if you see me just like smiling and holding back because i know if i get started it's going to be like a hour-long conversation um just a little <laughs> bit of background for anyone who is uh watching before becoming a content creator i ran a doggy daycare and boarding business so um you know mentioning things like you know animals and pets getting into things that are potentially dangerous um, is a real thing. And uh, I would literally have customers that would bring their pets to me Monday to Friday, every day they were at work, because they didn't have something like this at their house to keep an eye on their, their pets to make sure that they're safe when they're not there. So these innovations, when it comes to technology, um, when it comes to taking your home to a smarter level <laughs> um, <laughs> is needed uh, for our, our pets, our loved ones, our kids, you know, the elderly, everyone needs to be checked on sometimes. So check yourself. Yeah. Check yourself. Yeah. Make sure you guys do go to uh, Nui.com and that's spelled N O O I E.com. Uh, we will be leaving that information in the description below. So make sure you guys do check them out. They got some good smart home stuff. I've, I got some other stuff set up, so I use it. Um, it's great. It's great. So N I O I N O O I E dot com, Nui dot com. <laughs> All right. So we have now joining the show, uh, Jesse Shell. How are you doing, man? Doing all right. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. We're doing wonderful. I, I have to say, the name of your company, Shell Games, is <laughs> genius. <laughs> to use yeah. your last name and and like the meaning on that, it's pretty good. So, um, so just a quick introduction. Uh, I'm Rojas. This is Next Level. We both have uh, YouTube channels and we review anything tech related um within our channels we also have a podcast and uh we we love to interview anybody out there that does 
anything also tech related and um yeah it's 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 fun stuff for us and to have these connections and you know play play games is is is, is a big for me I, it, for me it's it's a good de-stressor so um what do you have for us today to talk about Oh man, so we've had a lot of focus on uh, VR most recently. Um, that's that's where we're really seeing a lot of the growth happening uh, in the in the game industry. The the two games we've really had a lot of success with. One of them has been our uh, you know VR escape room game. I expect mm -hmm. you to die, and uh, so that that's been done great for us and done did really well over the holidays. And then more recently, we came out with Until You Fall, which is our sword fighting VR game, kind of a sword fighting roguelike, which has uh, been doing really, really well. That's awesome. So with 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 these products, uh, with the VR, uh, what which VR services do you need to use? So um, we're pretty much on just about everything. The, the most popular has been the Quest. Man, the Quest 2 platform is taken off like a rocket. The, the sheer number of people who are buying that system, using that system is, uh, is incredible. And we're, and we're blown away with how powerful it is for given the, the low cost of, of the system for the players, you know, 299 or 399. Um, it's it's pretty incredible, but we're uh, we have both games on that. We also have them on uh, PlayStation uh, VR and also on PC VR for Rift or for Vive. Nice. On the PlayStation, is it on on PS4, PS5? So it's PS VR, which is supported on both four and five. Cool, cool. That's awesome. Um, I I love. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I love escape rooms. <laughs> uh, escape rooms are super cool. Me and the wife yeah. have done. A when you know when we were covid free <laughs> sure sure so now we got to get a little bit creative you know so um you know the, the funny thing i've talked to a few escape room owners and they're so frustrated because uh if you want to do something out in the world an escape room is actually probably the safest possible thing to do because it's you and the people you came with in like a room where you're by yourself um so i'm not that i'm saying run out in the world and go do escape rooms but it is kind of funny that that's that's one of the, those guys i feel bad for people running those businesses because they've taken a terrible hit but virtual escape rooms you can do them at home it's one of the real strengths of vr right now i think it's really helped vr take off is that people are so trapped inside and they have uh they want to do something where they can kind of feel like they're kind of getting outside the four walls of their house and and vr is a great way to do that mm -hmm. no that's Awesome stuff. Uh, I noticed on your website that one of the genres is educational. It was funny. My son came to me this morning because he's in school, but he's home. And he's like, my uh, my task today is to build a sandwich inside of Minecraft. And I'm <laughs> like, OK, I guess that's schoolwork. Uh, I don't really understand. Is it something to do with coding or something? I don't know. I'm like, as long as you get your schoolwork done, I guess, maybe you're just trying to trick me so you can stay on the laptop. <laughs> Not really sure. But can you tell me a little bit more about your educational aspect and maybe oh, yeah. how it's evolved with the current lockdowns that are in place around the world as well, too? Yeah, sure. No, uh, as a studio, so Shell Games is an interesting studio. We have about 130 people. We're typically working on about eight games at a time. And we tend to have four lines of business. We do home entertainment games. We do stuff for theme parks and museums. We do health games and we do educational games. And so some of the educational stuff we've done recently has also been in, uh, in VR. We created a game called Hololab Champions, which is a chemistry lab. Imagine a chemistry lab game show where like you win the game show by being really good at the way that you uh, combine chemicals and, and initiate reactions. Um, so that was a super fun one. And another one that we did in VR is a thing called History Maker VR where it's less of a game and more of a creativity studio where you go in and you get to become historical figures. You get to become Sacagawea or you get to become Abraham Lincoln. So figures from American history. And suddenly you're on a stage and you're in a TV studio and we're tracking your head. We're tracking your hands. We do inverse kinematics. And now you can make videos of yourself as this historical figure making speeches. You can even upload them and they go onto like a little teleprompter for you. So it's designed to kind of be used, you know, for history classes and things so that you can kind of um, 
uh, make speeches and as as these historical figures. So it's part of what's fascinating. The, the thing we always look at when we're creating stuff for VR is VR is really all about the body. People think about it as a technology for the eyes, but it's it's not. It's, it's a technology all about bringing your body into a computer simulation. And so we're always looking at what are the things we can do that are gonna really involve your body? So for when we thought about education, part of the reason we went to chemistry labs is because it's such a physical activity. The act of understanding, you know, how much to kind of tip and tilt and fill fluids, the 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 business of like there's a graduated cylinder and you've got to have your head level with the, you know, with with the line. So you got to bring your head down, right? I can't do that on a computer screen in any normal way. But because your body's in there, I can actually do these things. So you can even even the business of scooping. I know it sounds silly, but to be able to get the right amount in the scoop and to kind of get like, let me just get half a microgram out on the scoop, it takes practice. Yeah. And you can you can practice those things in in VR. So our focus is always like what stuff that uses the body. That's for example, until you fall, our sword fighting game, we just sword sword fighting is such an engaging way to like bring your body into a simulation. That's super cool. Uh so Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's a lot of information. That's some great stuff there. If anybody wants to find them, I guess uh, your website is shellgames.com, right? Yeah, that's right. S C H E L L games.com. Uh, yeah, we've got all our games listed there. Definitely. Um, for a lot of our stuff, you can, you know, if you're downloading games on steam, you can certainly find stuff on steam or on, on the other stores, but yep. If you go to shellgames.com, you can find uh, everything that we've been doing. Awesome. Well, thank you for stopping by. We really, truly appreciate you. And we'll be sure that uh, that we make sure our subscribers can find you guys. All right. Great. Awesome. Thank you. You have a good one. All right. Thanks. Uh huh. See ya. Cool. That was some cool stuff, man. For sure. VR, VR, VR is, is totally <laughs> VR is just crazy. VR is taking off. I'm I'm very excited about that escape room thing. <laughs> like. You know, like it's 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 cool that you could do stuff like that. And then I don't know how spooky it's going to be, but sometimes they're like, whoa, I get jumpy. So <laughs> I get jumpy. Hopefully, hopefully when me and the wife are playing, I don't. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Make sure you guys go to shellgames.com in the description below. We will have those links for you guys. Um, now, I am super excited about this if, if we're talking about childhood games and we're talking about like old school stuff um as soon as i saw this i'm like wait atari are you serious this is where <laughs> i started <laughs> so uh i see uh michael michael is already here so how are you doing michael good just let me unmute how you guys doing fantastic Great, man. We're we're here. We're excited. Techfluence has been amazing so far. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, it's been really fun. Um, had a lot of really good activity in our booth, our Zoom. <laughs> uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool experience. We haven't done one of these virtual um, uh, events before, but uh, I, I would say based on the experience we've had so far, that we would absolutely do it again. And obviously, you know excited for this forum to spend a little time with you guys um and and i want to also immediately uh, um jump on what you were saying there so yes so i mean obviously you know a legacy brand our iconic you know gaming brand atari but um but this is not you know your grandfather's atari this is a whole new atari that is uh, a modern device it's it's what we call our pc gaming hybrid it is um you know, completely different, completely new, right? So that I got a, a backwards in the <laughs> a backwards on what I'm looking at here. But yeah, so you know, this is this is the what we call the black walnut all in bundle. This is available for pre order on our website right now. Um, you know, we've got the the modern take on the classic classic joystick. Um, we've we, you know, but you're also playing modern games. You know, so an Xbox style controller. Um, the VCS itself, I should pull out as well. The, um, th this device is so much more than a retro machine. So it's designed to look like it's part of the family, right? Just like a Jeep or a Mustang or, 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 or a Mini Cooper looks like it's part of the family. Um, 
but they're also still very modern devices with modern technology under the hood. That's what this baby is. Um, so we call it a PC console hybrid because it's a PC based device um, running an AMD um, APU um, with a Linux based De Debian Linux based uh, operating system and a Unity dashboard that um, also um, can do a lot of PC type things. We also, you know, in an homage to to our classic fans, we include all the classic games. You get the VCS Vault on here for free, 100 games from um, the good old days, arcade and, and home 2600 classics. You, but there's also a storefront to buy a whole bunch of new games. Also modern streaming apps, 4K, um, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, et cetera, et cetera. You can get some Mandalorian rocking in 4K on here, no problem. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, we're also looking to cultivate the new wave of, you know, third-party games working with indie developers. We, we did a partnership with um, with uh, GameJolt, GameJolt.com, which you may or may not be familiar with, which is um, one of the largest, if not the largest, um, indie game gaming incubator communities um so we're really focused on making indie games and and also re of course reimagined versions of atari games you know making those our triple a games if you want to play a triple a game we've got chrome in here you can play stadia you can play a few other um <laughs> other top streaming services you can play yeah so you can play cyberpunk 2077 uh, <laughs> if you want it's you know it's a terrible game supposedly um <laughs> you can play destiny you can play assassin's creed you can play all those other games um so you know we've got native games we've got streaming games we've got um, in you know multimedia apps, it's it's a whole new um, device. Not it's definitely not a retro box. If anything, it is retro inspired because we're Atari. We bring the retro just by being Atari. But um, it's absolutely a very modern device with a lot of modern capabilities. And best of all, because we are Atari and because we've got forty years of homebrew and hacking and and modding and and you know a very active community that's still programming games for forty year old hardware, um, we've got what's called PC mode, which means you can jump out of the Atari console experience that comes with this and boot up your own operating system, Windows, Linux, Chrome, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera, and and create or bring over. Um, whatever you want, but, you know, we're, we're trying to create, you know, finally create, you know, that, that elusive living room PC experience, um, in a, you know, in a sexy little box here. I, I probably shouldn't use that word for hardware, but you know, <laughs> I don't see a better word. <laughs> uh, yeah. And premium product, real wood, you know, this is not painted plastic, like, uh, like the original. So, um, yeah, so we're really excited. We've got, um, you know, we launched this on Indiegogo in 2018 and uh, pretty much broke Indiegogo. We were only up there for a month. Um, we just did it for 30 days. It's now available for pre-order, but we are delivering um, the first 10,000 boxes to our Indiegogo backers. They are effectively our beta testers. They're playing with it. We're getting a lot of really positive feedback, but they're also, of course, telling us, you know, uh, where the flies are in the ointment and we're, you know, we're ironing out the wrinkles in partnership with our partners, um, you know, our 10,000 best friends um, in the Atari community. You know, it, it's crazy because when I say I, I literally started with an Atari, I didn't start with the console. Atari made PCs and everything yeah. plugged into the keyboard. Our computer, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what I started with. I started with the one little joystick with the one button. Um, and then that's where I learned how to play chess and I learned how to play different things. Yep. There was a Donald Duck game that I had and a ninja game. Um, it's so cool. I remember Rojas and I, when we first saw this, we're like, are we being trolled? Is Atari really coming out? Because we saw the website a few a few months ago and we were talking about it briefly on our podcast. And we're like, no, are they coming out? trying to troll us, but we're not <laughs> trolling. That's for sure. <laughs> well, it happens all the time. Sometimes you'll hear, oh, a company is coming out and there'll be like a fake website or a fake something or a fake YouTube video or a fake rumor or something. We're so happy that this is not a troll. This is not a fake rumor. <laughs> We're excited to see your product come out. 
and we can't wait to get our hands on it. So we're super excited. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And we, you know, I mean, I turn mine on just about every day. This is probably the first day in, in a while. I haven't turned it on yet because I've been doing this all day with, uh, with, with the uh, tech fluence thing, but, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, no, it's, um, you know, I mean, a lot of people are really excited just about the joystick itself. You know, you mentioned it. So, you know, the, the classic joystick, reborn right so way more comfortable in your hand way more ergonomic we've added a, a b trigger so you've got the the, the <laughs> red button on top b trigger it has rumble um let me turn it on for a second you'll see hopefully you can see that it lights up so, cool. <laughs> so these um so replacing that paint painted orange around the um but you know also got a back button and a, and a menu button coolest thing of all is if you remember the old Ataris, you had the joystick and you had the paddles. This has the paddle in the stick. So mm -hmm. you've got both functionality. And actually, it's funny because a lot of these new indie devs, you know, you never know what someone's going to do with a tool until you put it in their hands. But, you know, some of these indie devs are saying, wait, wait, you mean I can move around and I can spin at the same time? That's mm -hmm. cool. And they're, you know, you know, they're making their spaceships, you know, do things that, you know, this more modern modern controller with all its inputs could never do. So it's um, it's a lot of fun. It's we've been you know really you know enjoying seeing what people are creating and and what you know and enjoying the excitement that that they're having about it. I mean our Instagrams and Facebooks are, are just lit up with people with their own unboxing images and and videos and um, yeah and so yeah we're this is just the beginning. We're looking to really build out the platform, build out the functionality, keep adding partners, keep adding content. Um, yeah. Should be a lot of fun, but like I said, it is you know very much a modern device. There's no physical media; it's all digital. You know, that's yeah, awesome. Device. So I did I did go to in on the TechFluence home screen. Uh, I went through your guys' booth and I filled up a, a request to, to get one of those. Um, I I'm I'm always I I love gaming and it just makes me so happy to see Atari is is, is coming up with that. Uh, I, me. I, be here if I didn't love it too. I mean, obviously, um, sure. <laughs> my, me and my whole team, we're all, you know, we're all here because we, we want to be part of, you know, bringing this thing back. So, yeah. Um, we have to have you on, on one of our podcast episodes. <laughs> like we, we'd love that. It'll be awesome. I do have, um, on the private chat here, you'll see it says to contact us. Uh, that's the email Rojas entertainment at gmail.com. Um, will be great to uh, stay in touch and schedule a uh, podcast interview. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing private chat with blank, but. Um, oh, you know what? I probably have to post it up again here. And, and, and we have a PR team. I don't know if you're familiar with the guys at, at Uber strategist, but uh, if you write to Atari, I'll type it in Atari at Uber strategist. Make sure I spell it right. Uber strat. Just dot com yeah i mean right now we're in sort of this beta mode so we're we're technically not putting out what we call review machines but um mm -hmm. we do have machines and we are um talking with uh, a number of different channels about um you know sort of doing early previews and things like that so um you know obviously we don't want someone to review something that is not ready to be reviewed That's from a small right. point the hardware is done i mean you know you can see it here it's 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 baked but um yeah, so I mean, we just need to um, we need to get that uh, that all done. But yeah, okay. So Rojas on Entertainment, I see that. Okay, we'll get that. But yeah, I mean, one way or another. Yeah, by all means. And then I think Tech TechFluence gives out the whole list anyway, so everybody should be able to get to everybody. But yeah, uh, yeah we we'd love to to spend more time with you guys. Um, really dig your channel and what you guys are doing. And obviously, um, you know, always good to have uh, Atari fans and gaming fans uh, interested in what we're doing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, very excited. Very excited to to have that conversation with you. And um, yeah, thank you for stopping by. Really do appreciate you. Hopefully we could have many more conversations. So thank you. Love that. Thanks, guys. Really awesome. appreciate it. Thank you. Take day. care, man. Yep. Awesome. 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 So um, anybody out there watching, listening uh, to find them, AtariVCS.com. AtariVCS.com. Uh, it is not rumored <laughs> this is confirmed not a troll uh yeah i'm 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 excited i'm very very excited so um yeah can't wait to get my hands on that play with it test it out review it yeah i don't know about you next level i'm excited 
So who else have we heard from yet? Uh, we've iHome. So iHome is the next one. Got their website up. Looks like we have them backstage. Uh, let's go ahead and add them in. Hey, how are you? How you Good. Doing? How's it going, man? Well, I'm good to see you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. We had a, a little bit of a break right there. So we were just kind of <laughs> hanging out, checking out the booths and talking about some stuff there. So. <laughs> All right. How's your show so far? Good, man. A lot of a lot of good products are out there. Um, the, the the only downside to me is that it's not in person, you know, and it's because you know this whole COVID thing sucks. But I think it's great how how they've turned this into a positive where we could still at least do these shows. And um, I think it's a great kickoff to like CES being next week. Is just I don't know. It's a lot of good things, you know. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely not as fun as when you get to see people and interact with them, but you know, I guess it's better than nothing. It, it, it's right. such a tease, though, because you see them showing off all this fantastic tech, and you're like, I want to play with it now. <laughs> it's also like weird because like you're you're you know you're holding product, you're trying to angle it into the camera. It's just like it doesn't, you know, it's not the same. Yeah, you guys are are, are stepping into our shoes a bit because we're reviewing products, we're doing that kind of stuff on our end. And right. in order for us to see it, you have to kind of switch the table around and. Then you're showing us the product, <laughs> right? Right, right. Uh, so, w- what do you have today to show us? Then, sure, we'll start with uh, this is our newest product. It's a newest line for new line for us called iHome Health. It's called the Power UVC Pro. So it's a UVC sanitizing device. The way it works is you open it up, you put a phone in, or really any device that it's in, remote control. You put it in, you close, you, you close it, you press this button. And then you see it starts counting down. So within three minutes, the device will be fully sanitized. Um, the interesting part is we actually started working on this way before Corona was a thing. We actually showed this at CES a couple of years back to you know, to to, uh, to buyers and whatever. But uh, we've been working on it. We were kind of ahead of the curve. You know, I personally I'm a germaphobe, so like just the thought of touching my phone all day and then just putting it to my face it's kind of disgusting. You know, you go to the gym or you know whatever you do. So um, to me, I, I keep one of these in my house. I was happy to finally get my hands on, on one of these units. But outside of that, it's also a Bluetooth speaker. It has a USB port inside and outside, so you can charge your phone while it's being sanitized um, or on the outside as well. And of course, it's an alarm clock. That's cool. How long is the, the charge time while it's being sanitized in there? What do you mean, how long is the charge time? Like how, how, how much charge do you get, I guess I should say? How much charge oh, do you get? I guess, I, I mean, that... I am, I'm not sure, but you can keep it in there while it's, you know, you know, it doesn't have to be sanitizing to be in there. If you want to, like, sometimes at night people's phones bother them and, you know, the lights, but you can just put it in here, keep it charged overnight, wake up, take it out, ready for the day. Mm-hmm. Cool. Super cool. I know for myself, as long as I have my phone somewhere where my eyes is going to see it, I'm not going to sleep. Right. So, you know, there's, there's two factors there. One, I think everybody's phone should be sanitized. Right. <laughs> and two... Uh, by separating yourself physically and visually from that cell phone, I think you're actually going to help people get better sleeping patterns, which right. everybody, everybody says that there's, they have the best sleeping patterns. I don't know. I'd argue with you. Not in today's society. I agree. <laughs> so many distract- as soon as I look at my, if I wake up or in the middle of the night, as soon as I look at my phone, I'm done. I'm up. I'm mm-hmm. done. So it's good to keep it stored away where you can't access it. It's too, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's too addicting. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And that's cool, huh? That's cool. You said, like, you know, going to the gym, it's, you know, it's it's gross for sure. I, I like when we were able to go to the gym. It was, I love going to the steam room, love going to the saunas, um, and typically what I would do with my phone is, you know, you have your earbuds in, it's all wireless. You put your phone next to the the bench or on the floor or something. Um, right. But yeah, it's it's sometimes you'd be like, you know, you look at your phone like, Ugh, like. Yeah. <laughs> I used to wash my phone. I would come home, take the thing off, take the case off, and like scrub it. But anyway, it's a pain in the neck to do that. Yeah. So I had a, a wipes. I would use some wipes to. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah. yeah. I still do that sometimes if I don't have this around me. Yeah, that's super cool. Um, what other products do you guys have today? So speaking of sleep, that's actually a good segue. Our Zenergy line um, is a line of light and sound therapy devices designed to help you relax and fall asleep. So I'll turn it on for you guys. It has, this is a candle effect. It also has uh, 15 different sound therapy modes. So meditation sounds, uh, nature sounds, 
It's a lot of calming white noise sounds um, to help you fall asleep. There's different lights as well. The red glow and like the pinkish glow at night when you look at it, it helps you fall asleep. Um, it's portable, so you can take it with you. You know, if you're traveling and you're in a hotel, you have a hard time falling asleep, you can turn it on. Um, about 10 hours of battery life, and it also has a timer. So let's say it takes you 30 minutes to fall asleep, you can set this to turn off within uh, 30 minutes. That's, that's cool. Is energy candle? Yeah, no, that's super cool. Is is majority of your products focused towards people that own iPhones, or is it just a similar between the names iHome and and I, iPhones? So good question. When we launched over 15 years ago, uh, we were the first uh, iPod uh, dock and clock radio. So that's you know iPod, iHome. That's where the name came from. But since then, we're you know we're, these these units will work with Android, Apple, you know any mobile device. Uh, so it's mm -hmm. not just not just Apple. That's awesome. So the just to go back on the first one that you were showing, that did the wireless charging while it was in the UV sanitizer, right? No, no, not, this one's not wireless. It actually has. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's a USB, right? Oh, so you run the cable. Yep. We do have a couple of wireless charging units. So another good segue. Um, <laughs> you guys are making my job easy. Easy. <laughs> so this is a wireless, three-in-one wireless charging. It has an integrated Apple Watch charger and a USB port in the back. That's awesome. So the really our, our, our focus here was to create something that's gonna be space saving. It's not gonna take up a lot of space on the bedside because you know you don't you don't want an alarm clock that's gonna be you know three feet you know wide. So it does take up a lot of space. It has a Bluetooth speaker, has it's an alarm clock, and basically it'll charge all your various devices in one compact form. Mm -hmm. And last but not least. You guys want to get pretty for your for your shows? We got a, <laughs> a, a vanity mirror. It's a, it's the Reflect Trifold. It has a three panels. It has a ten time magnification mirror. You just stick on top, or anywhere really. This will stick anywhere. Um, and of course, since it's iHomeified, which I like to say, it has a uh, Bluetooth speaker built in that rears from the bottom, and it has a USB port in the back as well. And it has speakerphone, so you can take calls um, through the unit while while you're getting ready. Now, cool. what are we looking at um, in regards to pricing on some of these things? Sure, this is ninety nine ninety nine. Um, this is uh, fifty nine ninety nine. This guy is also ninety nine ninety nine, and this is uh, one twenty nine ninety nine. Cool, nice. <clears throat> so That's that super cool. Yeah, I, I I like your guys' products. I have a, uh, I I had so you know typically we get the products we review them on. So we both have YouTube channels, um, and there was one, I had a it was the iHome speaker that you could put in your Echo Dot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So That's that was pretty cool. Yeah, I had several people like I want that. I want that. <laughs> um, worked great. Thing was awesome. Had a clock on it. Um, so I'm very familiar with your stuff. I wish I would have. Uh, you know how they have that form that you can sign up on the on the, the show. Well, I think the the show's closed, so now I can't <laughs> I can't yeah, sign up. But um, yeah. I, in the private chat, I did put my email. Um, so that way, if, uh, if we get in contact with, so I, that way I could test out some of your stuff and possibly do a review on it. Sure. So, yep. I'll send you an email with my information. Happy to send you guys out a unit. I mean, one of the things I always like to say and in, in kind of what I, why I love working for iHome is the fact that we make so many different products. People think that we just do, you know, Bluetooth speakers or bedside alarm clocks. And really we do, you know, vanity mirrors. We have Zenergy sleep therapy devices. We have the UVC sanitizing devices, um, really Bluetooth speakers, color changing speakers, um, various types of bedside alarm clocks. So we really have a lot of different cool, cool products. So it makes, it makes my job fun and makes it interesting. Yeah, definitely. I definitely like to, to, to check it out. And, um, the best place to find your products is going to be at iHomeAudio.com, right? Yep. Cool. Uh, awesome. Uh, is there anything else that you want to throw in there uh, before we let you go then? No, I think that was good. It was a pleasure to, to talk to you guys and, you know, good luck. Yeah, hopefully 2021 is, uh, we get to meet in person down, you know, down the line, so it doesn't have to be through Zoom and, and whatnot. Definitely, definitely. Cool. Thank you. Really appreciate you coming by. All right. Take care. Thanks, man. Peace. Peace. Flick to smart button, and it looks like we have 
uh, somebody backstage. So let's go ahead and let him into the show. How's it going, man? Hi, Ross. How are you? Good. Uh, now you pronounce it Ludwig. That's uh, yeah, that, that works. That works. <laughs> Dang it. I try not to butcher people's names. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Cool. So uh, I'm Rojas is next level. Um, we both have YouTube channels. We love to review anything that's tech related. Um, and we also have a podcast that we love to talk to um, just different tech companies, see what they're doing, see what's the buzz. Um, what products do you, ha do you have today for us? Uh, we have this, uh, which is what we call Flick 2. Um, and Flick 2 is a wireless connected smart button. Uh, mainly used to control your smart home appliances. Uh, so like instead of having to go through your, your phone apps or talking to your voice assistant to just to turn on your light, uh, you just push a button. Um, each button has three different triggers. You can push, double push, and hold them down. And uh, for each trigger, you can, uh, you can set off an infinite number of actions. So you can either create your own routines through the Flick app, uh, so like I have one by my bedside, which I push in the morning, which uh, turns on my lights, uh, the speaker in the bath in the bathroom, and uh, a smart plug, which my coffee maker is connected to. And since since a month back, uh, we're also Apple HomeKit compatible, uh, so now you can trigger your HomeKit routines uh, by pushing buttons as well. I was checking out your website uh, yesterday, and I was yeah. looking at all the different stuff. I was like, this is. This is actually pretty cool. It looks so simple, but you know the the options and the features are really unlimited. Um, but I know personally for myself, there is a kind of satisfaction that you get from pushing a button versus you know tapping a screen on your phone. Um, you yeah. do get a certain satisfaction, right? Thinking that you know you could just keep your eyes closed and just reach above your bed or beside your bed and click a button instead of having to look at the bright screen in your face. I think this is actually something that's really cool and it has so many implementations for uh, people's homes. What are yeah. some of the, I guess, surprising things you've seen some of your customers use these smart buttons for? I mean, uh, of course, the main usage is as light switches, of course. Um, but uh, like we, we see so many things and we actually also have public uh, development kits. So we have other companies adding support for our buttons as well. Uh, where they can add support into their own mobile phone apps, for example. Uh, and like one thing which we'd never come up with ourselves is uh, there's an app called Angler, uh, which is used for recreational fishing. And so let's say you're on a boat and when you start your trip, you just push a button and you start logging your position while you're going around the lake. Um, and when you catch something, you double push this button to track that location so you know where the fish actually are. Um, and then you also get like the timestamp, the weather conditions and everything. Uh, it's a bit out of the smart home, but that's like one of the things that we've seen uh, people using it for, which is like way out of what we had in mind uh, when we started with this. Yeah, like GPS tracker location. That's that's actually that's super neat. Um, I was looking at, yeah, I was looking at, at some of the things. Uh, li uh, Lifix, Philips Hue, which I have that, uh, Sonos, I have that also. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm already thinking like, man, there's so many things that you can do with this thing. You push a button, the lights could dim to a certain mood or could turn on. And, um, with some of the stuff can, uh, do you, so, uh, I have a bunch of fans and, um, when I bought these fans, um, I, I wanted to do it in the most cheap cheapest way possible without buying cheap fans and without spending too much money on a fan. Right. Um, so I wanted them to, I, I wanted to turn the fan into a smart fan without buying a smart fan. Yeah. Um, so what I ended up doing was I ended up buying uh, this, it's like a hub and you point your remote to it. And then you know, I could just now tell my Amazon device, hey, turn on this, turn on that. So with these buttons, I could essentially do the exact same thing, right? Where I could make a routine, turn certain things off and on like that. Exactly. Yeah, that's mm. the main purpose. And like I mentioned, I have a, a dumb coffee maker, uh, which I before I go to bed in the evening, I just prep it. I pour in the coffee and water and I have it connected to, uh, I think it's an IKEA smart plug. Uh, so that's part of my morning routine. Uh, where I just push the button and uh, the, 
the smart plug turns the electricity on and coffee is ready when I get out of the shower. That's awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about the actual buttons themselves? Like, do they connect all through Wi-Fi and do they have to run off a certain kind of battery power? Yeah, uh, they're actually Bluetooth connected. Uh, so we're using uh, Bluetooth long range and Bluetooth uh, low energy protocols. Um, you can connect them either to your smartphone, your computer, or what we recommend for the smart home is actually our own gateway, uh, which is this small thing. Mm -hmm. um, and as I mentioned, they have Bluetooth long range capability, so the coverage is like really good. Um, we have our office in a three story villa, which is covered by one hub, which we keep central. Um, the gateway is connected to the internet, either through Wi-Fi or, or Ethernet. Um, so that's that's how you use them for smart homes. Uh, but but as I mentioned, you can connect them to your phone as well. The, the capabilities will be a bit limited. Uh, like Apple HomeKit, for example, requires uh, the Flick Hub. Mm -hmm. That's what cool. About the buttons themselves, like how does the batteries work on them? Do they require their own battery? Sorry, sorry, you were breaking up there for a second. The, the buttons themselves, do they need their own battery source? Do they take a battery or how does that work? Yeah, they have a coin cell battery, um, but uh, like expected battery lifetime is up to three years um, and they're replaceable. Awesome. So, yeah. Cool. And all buttons come with an adhesive back, um, like which is reusable as well. Uh, so you just decide where you want to keep the button, um, put it there, decide what's supposed to happen and uh, you're done. Like you can throw your, you don't want to throw your phone away, but you can at least turn it off. <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome. So yeah. to find your product, uh, the best place to go to is flickflic.io, right? Exactly. Uh, we're also on Amazon and we're looking to launch into retail uh, in 2021 as well. Uh, I, I think we're still out of stock on Amazon. Like Black Friday took us by by surprise. Uh, it, it was crazy, but uh, we're, we're catching up. So stock is loading in at the moment. I think. That's a good thing. Awesome. That's a good surprise. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good. Yeah, surprise. yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah. champagne problem, but uh, yeah. still <laughs> problems. But uh, we're catching up at least. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, so for anybody that's out there listening to us, we're going to make sure we put the link in the description below. Uh, so that way you guys can find their products. Um, is there any last thing you want to say before we let you go? Uh, button up. Button up. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you for coming and uh, spending your time with us. And uh, yeah, we'll keep in touch. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Have Thank you. Take care. Bye. See ya. Awesome. Awesome. That's some cool stuff, dude. Uh, Innovation is, doesn't need to be complicated. It can be simple. It can be the push of a button. Yeah. I, I, I love how you could create routines. You know me, I'm a routine guy, very organized. I'm very, I don't know, regimental. Well, you know, I was in the military. So a lot of the stuff is very like, okay, I got to get up. I got to do this. I got to do that. And so that's really cool. You could just like, cool. I get up, hit the button. I don't even have to tell my Amazon device to do anything. I just do it, <laughs> you know? I was thinking like, you can connect that stuff to your computer. I was like, put a couple buttons on my desk, see if I could do OBS commands, push a button to change scenes. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> cool. So uh, we have another one here uh, behind the scenes. Uh, this is Wow Cube. And we have Max, so we're going to let Max into the show. Hey, Max, how are you doing? Hey, everyone. Good, good. Terrific. How are you? We're doing good here. Techfluence has been, it's been a great experience and good show meeting everybody. And um, just to give you a quick little background, Next Level and I have our own YouTube channels, respectfully, and we, uh, we both do tech-related stuff. We both review products. Um, we also have a podcast where we invite um, people to come in and just talk about their stuff, talk about their company, talk about any like futuristic stuff that's coming down the pipeline. Um, so we love tech. That's that's what we do. <laughs> we love tech. <laughs> Same here. I, I love tech. I make tech and invent some tech. <laughs> awesome. So speaking of that, you have uh, a product here called Wow Cube. This looks very cool. Um, can you give us some insight? Can you maybe show us some stuff? Very oh, exciting. That is why I'm here. So <laughs> here's the device, and I have a couple more here as uh, prototypes. Uh, it looks like the Rubik's Cube, and you can 
uh, you can operate it with the same way as you operate with the Rubik's Cube, uh, two by two. But instead of being solid color, it covered with this tiny high resolution screens. So total 24 uh, screens around the cube. The battleground is entire surface. Uh, despite the fact that all those modules, the small modules are autonomous, they are absolutely autonomous, you can, uh, they can in interact with each other. So you see the objects stepping from one screen to another. All the icons you can see here, different games or applications. To give you the idea of how it works, let me show you one, the, the simplest one application. Uh, this is a logical games called Butterflies. We have many different games uh, already done and more to come. Here, here is this, uh, the, uh, the logical game where you need to find the halves. You see, and I'm sorry for reflection, uh, okay. halves of the, of, of the butterflies and you need to assemble them. And once you do, it comes to life. You see the score, how many moves you make, uh, how, how, may, how much time you spend. If you shake it, it goes back to the main menu. And uh, we have like more arcade-like games. Uh, one of the, our lastest game called uh, Ladybug on Path. Uh, it's a combination of the uh, logical game and um, arcade game. We have the bug that travels around the surface of the cube, and you need to you need to build the path for that bug. You see this bug here. I don't know if you see it or not. Yeah. Yeah. It, it goes like it, it starts. Uh, it increased its speed with time, so the game became more and more difficult. And you need to travel with this bug all around the surface. You need to build. You see here, it will stop if I if I will do nothing. I will need to continue the the road for her so uh in other words this is the bright and nice uh like video games but developing your cognitive and motor skills like puzzles and designed to hold it far from the eyes uh not staring in the screen and uh, uh, you can interact with the uh, objects uh, like the with the virtual uh, world objects with the, your real hands, like you're changing the geometry of the device and it still continue to maintain the integrity of those modules. We create the operation system. Uh, we create not only hardware, but we create the operation system that support the integrity. And this cube goes with this uh, charging dock station. So when you're not playing the games, you can still use it. Uh, let me show you the app called uh, Widgets. Here it is. If I start it, uh, you put it on the charging dock station near your PC. It starts to show you any useful information you need. Like you see here is the weather, I know, family photos, Bitcoin rate, whatever. It's just the, like widgets on your, on your mm -hmm. table. And uh, of course, if, you, uh, if your child, say, afraid to sleep in dark, you can you can launch the app that's called Night Lamp, Lava Night Lamp. Here it is. No, oh, sorry. Sometimes it happens. Yes, uh, the Lava Night Lamp. Put it on the uh, um, nightstand near your bed, and it turns to the digital um, digital lamp. Uh, we have the application with the fish lives in it, like the digital aquarium, all this stuff. <laughs> Wherever, element of decor, the Christmas tree near your fireplace inside. Uh, as I told you, all those modules, absolutely autonomous. Uh, if, even if you disassemble, it continues to work. So we create the hardware. We also create the SDK, the software emulator of the cube. Mm -hmm. Independent developers can download this uh, software kit, uh, make their own games, upload to our store. We have the application for the smartphone. I don't know if you see it or not. Uh, this is the application for. Okay, say the interacting with the cube uh, in terms of connection is the same interact as you interact with your Apple Watch. The cube connected to the phone, phone to the internet, so it's online. Uh, every technology here is patented, of course, and the operation system that we have supports the integrity. Not only now it's two by two, but it's understand if it can be like scale three by three or even a snake shape uh, device. Here's the game uh, called Eat the Pizza. You maybe know this person. It's Om Nom from Cut the Rope. We have a license for them. Uh, it's a very popular game, actually. You need to assemble the pizza, then put it in the dome, 
uh, uh, put it in the fire and uh, then feed the uh, Omnom frog. <laughs> so the limit is the sky. We have many different games uh, in different genres. If you want me to tell you a little bit more about the games or uh, any other questions, I will be I, I will gladly answer them. You know, it, it's it's really cool. I see uh, far too often. Um, you know, small children are are given things like an iPad or a tablet. Um, this would definitely help with their motor skills and the screens are not so big and bright in their face. I think this is definitely a better option for smaller kids and even any age really, because the, 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 the capabilities is endless. It looks like this is somewhat of a modular design. Is there going to be something in the future where you build from this and either make it builder or bigger or into a different shape? Absolutely. This is the goal and this is our plans. But uh, again, we are very focused to go to the market with this particular device. It's absolutely enough to have a lot of fun. You know, uh, it's a solid piece of glass and plastic. And you, you know, people like fidgeting. You just need to feel. Then you physically with your hand changing geometry of the uh, screen and it still continue to interact with each other. So and eventually, yes, so we plan to make this like a board game because we, you, you, can, you can use these modules uh, separately and they continue working and interacting with each other. So, yes, it, it can be the snake shape or even as a board game. That's cool. Super cool. Um, so the best place to find your guys' stuff is going to be wowcube.com, right? Absolutely. Wowcube, uh, wowcube.com. We're going to announce the pre-orders during the CES on next week. And uh, we'll definitely, uh, because it's, it was a long journey. Uh, it starts from uh, 2016, then uh, my friend's son uh, came up with the idea what is to put the characters on the Rubik's Cube surface. And we started developing here. I have the first prototype ever exist based on Arduino. See how big it were. Yeah. The, the single module is almost the same size as the, uh, the cube we have now. And now we are ready for mass production to go to the market. Um, so we will open the pro, we, we will announce the pre order date on during the CES. Yeah, awesome. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it looks super cool. I know a lot of people, kids, adults, I, I see a lot of people playing with that thing. I want to play with that thing already. <laughs> um, if you if you see the private chat, I put my email. Uh, mm -hmm. If you could if you could shoot me an email, um, I I I I waited too long to to fill out the form in Techfluence, so I should. No, I'll, I'll send you all the information. No worries. Yeah, it'll be great to to see with it. And then I think it's I was looking on the website. It says uh, you guys were an honorary. Innov innovation awards for ces big congratulations that's awesome thanks a lot thanks a lot yeah that's some good we, news um, we also have the edison award by the way the awesome. edison awards, yeah yeah that, that's great that's yeah big congratulations um so okay um before we let you go is there any last things you would like to say well stay tuned and time to innovate yeah, definitely. And what we'll do is uh, anybody out there that's watching the show or listening um, in the description below, we will put their website. Wowcube.com. Check them out. Product looks amazing. Um, I, you know, if, if we can get our hands on them to do reviews on our channels, that'll be amazing. So, yeah, looking forward to uh, to, to talking to you guys in the future. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Take care, Thank guys. You. Thank, See you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Dude, that thing was cool. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was super. It was like mind blown when he took it off into little pieces because it's got 24 screens. So does that mean all 24 can like be separated and then rebuilt and then they all interact with that's like you built some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, definitely. So I'm very excited to um to, to, to review that thing and it's going to be great. You know, you, you know, as you know, I'm, I'm already, I'm working on several things behind the scenes and that'll be a really good thing for, for the reviewer, for the viewers to check out. So, um, cool. So I know we're going a little bit out of order, but that's okay. Um, we got time anyway for the next one to come in, but I do see, uh, Ryan from, Blendjet, I believe. I hope yeah. I got that right. So I'm going to go ahead and let him into the show. So Ryan. Hi. How, how are, are you? Doing? Doing great, man. How are you doing? 
Great. I'm just here. I've done about 20 press interviews today uh, at the Techfluence conference, and I am ready for my next uh, coffee. I don't have time to go to Starbucks, and I don't know if you heard, there's like a pandemic going on, so you don't really want to go there anyway. So no. I got my my oat milk, uh, my 12 ice cubes, my maple syrup, my shot of espresso, very important, uh, mm -hmm. and then my cinnamon and a little drip of maple syrup, and I'm going to blend it uh, right here, right now. I can do you know 15 of these before I got to recharge, and then just use, I, gotta, I have it locked right now, so you can lock it so it doesn't accidentally turn on in your bag or something like that. So you can just load up all your ingredients and then hit blend, and there you go. Now we're blending, and in just 20 seconds, you can have a smoothie that, or a frappuccino, that uh, rivals what you'd get out of a big blender, which would usually take a lot longer, or what you get you know, for seven bucks from maybe Jamba Juice or Starbucks. Uh, <laughs> and it's really delicious, and the consistency is just perfect. Uh, and in fact, I'm really gonna drink this. This isn't just for show, I actually need this. So you'll have to excuse me for a minute while I uh, drink Feel my free, man. drink. Do it. <laughs> One of the things that, uh, that uh, I know next level and I we're, we're constantly busy, constantly moving, constantly doing stuff. I'm always out in the market for good, good blenders out there. And sometimes it's, it's, it, it's really difficult to be like, let me pull up the entire machine. Let me plug it in. Let, where's the top? Where's the cover? Where, uh, and then I'm over here like, I got to go, forget this. I'm going to Starbucks. <laughs> Indeed. And, you know, that's actually an interesting thing that you mentioned, right? So, I mean, it comes in 16 different colors. There's a color for everybody. We invented the portable blender. This is one of the hottest gifts of the holiday season. So every three seconds during the holiday season, we sold one Blend Jet 2 on our website. Wow. So crazy. We have millions of customers in 195 countries. We invented the original portable blender, started on it in 2017, launched in June of 2018, you know, sold out right away, first 7,000 units gone within a matter of weeks. By the end of the year, over 100,000 customers, you know, now millions. And the Blendjet 2, it's like going from the Tesla Roadster 1.0 to like a brand new 2021 Model 3 or X or Y or whatever, you know, you like, uh, except we don't have boombox mode. We don't have that. So, right, right. Uh, but you know, the, the product quality and the power, this now rivals your kitchen blender. You know, you, you're called next level. Uh, we're called the next gen blender. There you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it really is right. If you think about computers, they used to take up a whole room. They used to be, you know, these big giant things. Then they're on your desk. Then they're in your lap. Now they're in your pocket. Right. Mm -hmm. And the computer we all use the most now is this one. Yeah. So you think about the form factor and how it's changed so dramatically. And as a result, the frequency of use and the variety of use case has changed dramatically. Our average customer uses our product more than one time per day for so many different things. It's crazy for smoothies, for protein shakes, for coffee beverages, for margaritas. I know we could all use a little extra frozen margarita in our lives sure. at least two to three times a day during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, uh, you know, salsas, guacamoles, hummuses, really anything. And what's cool is this blender isn't ugly. The first blender was created in 1922. Guess what? It had a big clunky base, big clunky jar, big clunky lid. The blender design hasn't changed in a hundred years. Yeah. It looks the same. What the hell? Every other thing has been disrupted. This is yeah. the one thing that still literally looks like it did in 1922. So, yeah. you know, the, the impetus for starting this was not, gee, I want to make a bunch of money selling blenders. I don't care about the money. I don't care about selling units. What I care about is one thing. I had a terrible accident. I cracked my head open. I nearly died. I ended up on medical leave for a year. Before that, I helped raise $110 million to build this. The first, of course, the cord is stuck because it's not wireless. Uh, <laughs> to build the first holographic computer. So I worked on this thing. And I was literally giving keynotes with Bob Iger, Steve Wozniak, getting to work mm. with you know tech luminaries, building mm. the thing that could show holograms layered on the real world. You could touch them, I could touch them, we could interact together. So you know that was like a crazy thing to get to do. And then I had this freak accident, cracked my head open, and I can't even read, use a computer, can't think straight, can't talk correctly. I lost my wits. I thought I was going to die. Mm. And what I did to recover was smoothies and protein shakes every day. And that was such a big part of my life. So when I got over that that hump and i actually was still here on this planet 
you know, I wanted to do something different with my life. I was no longer thinking, gee, the way I'm going to judge success in life when I'm on my deathbed is looking back and going, how much money did I make? Who cares? What mm-hmm. matters is what impact did I have on this world? What did I do that is going to still be here after I'm gone that's going to hopefully be a positive one that I'm going to be proud of or that I could be proud of? And to me, knowing how impactful smoothies and protein shakes were to me and thinking about health and thinking about how popular fast food is, it was like, well, why is fast food so popular? And it's convenience. It's more convenient to get in my car and drive through a drive through than it is to make something. You know, and we wanted to make it easier for people to live longer and healthier lives. And that was why we created this. And, you know, the the trajectory from zero to millions of customers has been so fast. No investment, just investing my own money and my business partner and I just, you know, bootstrapping together and, uh, you know, really listening to our customers. And, you know, the first product was good, but the second product, I mean, you know, I mean, you see you see the product, right? I mean, you you yeah. read the reviews from the customers, you know, Forbes called every other blender compared to a Blendjet a dinosaur. And I like to think that uh, Blendjet 2 is an asteroid and all the traditional blenders are uh, dinosaurs and they're on their way <laughs> to extinction. And, you know, it's not just good for Blendjet. It's really, truly good for the people that have the product. I mean, the average customer is using it at lunchtime. That's the most popular time of day that they use it. And they're using it as a meal supplement or a meal replacement. And it's really, you know, it's not hurting other blender companies. It's hurting McDonald's, you know, and they got, they got plenty of money. So it's not really a problem, you know, for, for them. They probably won't even notice, but yeah. uh, there's just nothing that I could be working on. That's more fulfilling in my life than this. And I'm, I'm, you know, I hated what I went through and I wouldn't wish it upon anybody, but I also wouldn't undo it. It was, uh, it was, it was a personal hell to be honest. Uh, but it was worth going through it a little bit of suffering for me if it gets to benefit, you know, a whole lot of other people. Cause now they have a easy way to make something healthy. Mm-hmm. For sure. That's awesome. I, I, yeah. When, when I, when I've seen the blend jet too, and, and what it does. And for me, the biggest feature is the on the go um, there's, uh, uh, well, it's funny. I, when, you know, when we were able to go to the gyms and stuff like that, um, I would go to my sister sometimes I'd be like, go pick her up and we'll go on a hike or whatever. And I would have my cup with whatever juice and it had like a little metal ball to shake everything in there, oh, yeah. you know? And then, um, I would carry like a little, uh, like just a, just a pla- like a little tiny plastic Tupperware cup of my next meal or my next stuff. And to have something like this, where you're just like, you know, you could actually, you can carry so much more and then just drop it in there and just blend it right away. And th- the one thing I do like is how easy, like a, a lot of people when they, when they want to use blenders, especially they don't think about like the cleaning process. They're just like, Hey, does this work? Does this slice? Can I make guacamole or salsa or this other? Can I do, can I, what can I do? But the thing is like, wait a minute, what about the cleaning? This thing is awesome because you just put a little bit of Dawn, some water and you blend that thing (laughs) and clean. You don't have to try to stick your fingers down there and cut yourself or, um, the way this thing is has is, is put together and the innovation behind it, I think is amazing. I, I personally, I think it's, it's great. Um, I see you're are you going, to, are you able to see that? Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's how you clean it. It's literally as easy as you said, you know, it's not a gimmick. You really do just put a drop of soap, water blend and boom, you know, it is uh sparkling clean, ready to go for next time. I mean, I do this two to three times a day. And that was like the thing I hated the most. I hated cleaning traditional mm-hmm. blenders. It was just super annoying and it gotten even my way. And I had like a real need to have that nutrition every day. And that was like my biggest hurdle. And I knew that if I was struggling with that, then I knew other people had to be. I find yeah. you you generally create the best invention when you are solving a personal problem that you have and you have a lot of experience with that problem. You know, so I, I'm very glad that you recognize that and and see that benefit because uh to me, that is, uh, that's one of the like big goals, right? Is just eliminate the annoying factor. Yeah. Like how many, how many times, like, like anybody out there listening to us, ask yourself this question. Every time you pull out 
your blender, how many times did you cut yourself from, <laughs> from cleaning it? <laughs> yeah, never. You, you never have to do that again. You never touch no. the blade, never get near it. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's fast, right? I mean, that's one of the big things. We invented this technology we call TurboJet technology. And the way that works is, you know, we have 50 plus patents filed on our technology. This is one of our granted patents, TurboJet. So if you take this off, by the way, safety feature. So if you want a deep clean, you could turn it on and it won't turn on because it knows the jar is not there. Nice. But you notice that the blade is offset. So you can't really tell from the front, but from the side, you can really tell. Yeah. And why is the blade offset? Well, when you have the blade offset, it creates this tornado effect. And 275 times per second, it slams the particulates into the back wall of the jar. And as a result of doing that, it ends up uh, blending dramatically faster and dramatically better. Uh, and the reason is you're not just using the surface area of the blades to blend, you're using the whole surface area of the back wall of the jar. So this mm -hmm. is really not just brute force, more power, bigger battery. I mean, yes, it has a bigger motor, bigger battery than our previous generation, but what it really has going for it is the laws of physics where, you know, larger surface area, faster, better blending. And that's mm -hmm. why even, you know, a big giant kitchen blender can't make a perfectly blended margarita with that perfect margarita machine-like consistency in 20 seconds. It takes longer because they're not using that special shape uh, right. and just, you know, the the realities of the simulation that are programmed in. Yeah. That was a um, matrix kind of reference there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to find your guys' products, uh, it, the website's blendjet.com. Blendjet.com. And it's still a new year something to celebrate, still somewhat of a holiday. So we're hooking it up for people. We know it's, you know, been a crazy tough time. So we're, we continued our sale uh, for the new year to hook people up and make it easier to hit those new year resolutions, be a better version. I mean, that's kind of our core, right? At, at what we say, you know, we created Blendjet to help people live longer and healthier lives and become the best version of themselves. And, uh, you know, we want to help you make it easier for, uh, for the new year to, uh, Avoid the temptation of the food that you probably don't really want to eat, but you might eat because it's convenient. Yeah, definitely. Sure. Sure. So um, I, I I don't know if you heard me earlier, but I I forgot to sign up to a lot of people to get in contact with. So um, in the private chat, I put my email. I see it. Uh, yeah. So if, if you could email me, that way we can talk later. Uh, maybe I can get one of those and uh, review it Absolutely. on my channel. I would love um, it. You know, it, it would be really cool actually to have a uh, a, a podcast interview. Um, I know Blendjet has. I, I've seen Blendjet like like all over YouTube um, articles. I see a lot of people talking about fitness and the new. The, always the start of the new year. Better me, better me, better me. So I think it would be really cool to have you um, to talk a little bit more and uh, yeah, maybe we could dive a leave even a little bit deeper. Let's do it. Let's do it. I would love to do it. And uh, I feel like next level, you need a blend jet too as well. Yeah, I, I did talk to you the last uh, TechFluence and um, uh, I was looking into getting one, but I didn't get an opportunity to follow up with you again. Drop so, your email and let me make it happen. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. I know that you talked a lot about uh, you know the success that you had on Instagram as well too. So it would be interesting to hear your story in, in more detail during a podcast, You know the struggles that you've gone through and the successes that came out of it. That would be really cool. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, it's very interesting because very early on, uh, Jen Selter reached out to us and said, hey, uh, I love your product and I would love to be part of your brand. And she's actually co-owner of Blendjet now. Uh, and you know, she of course has like 30 million followers across all of her channels. Mm -hmm. Um, and we, we felt like early on, like we were just getting started. Right. And you know, when she reached out, it was like, Oh my God, Jen Selter reached out. Like, this is so crazy. <laughs> so then my co-founder and I went to New York and we met her and we, we had, uh, you know, dinner in New York with like her whole entourage. And then we saw uh, in in uh, New York City in Times Square, there's a billboard for BB of Jen Selter. Uh -huh. uh, and we were with her, seeing the billboard with her, which was pretty funny. And you know, she ended up joining and becoming part of it. And really early on, like it, it was really helpful for our credibility to have her as part of the brand. And mm -hmm. you know, I would say now we're we're grateful to have her, but her role has definitely changed. You know, she's really kind of the the wrangler of all the other influencers, you know, helping to manage our influencer outreach and influencer program and encouraging other influencers to, to be part of the brand. Um, but it's, uh, 
it's an interesting world we live in, right? I mean, the influencers are are often more influential than the A-list celebrities. You know, if you take an A-lister who posts about us versus um, someone that a lot of people have probably never heard of, we'll get a lot more sales from the person that most people have never heard of. Yep. And, you know, the difference is this, a follower for one person is not the same value as another. The, the value of the followers for the A-listers maybe is good, but a lot of them, people just follow them because they're an A-lister. Those people that have a million followers that have grown organically by having really amazing content, those fans are engaged. Mm -hmm. They believe what you say. You tell yeah. them, hey guys, I use this. This is a good product. They're like, oh my God, guys, you have to buy this. Everybody buys it. You know, mm -hmm. some celebrity says this is amazing. Like I'll give you an example. No offense, Charlie Sheen, but if Charlie Sheen says this is amazing, it's not going to do anything. Nobody's going to nope. buy it nope. because people are following him for that reason, not because they believe what he says, right? They right. think he's funny. He's entertaining. So a lot of uh, influencer marketing is figuring out who actually has influence and you cannot tell by the follower count. You guys, you guys have real influence. People follow you because they trust you. If you right. think something's garbage, you're just going to be like, guys, I mean, man, I hate to say it, but this is garbage. Mm -hmm. So I think that genuine sort of voice yep. is um, the thing that is essential. And uh, if you have a product that sucks, you really shouldn't do influencer marketing because it's just going to backfire for you. Yeah. And it's you know, volumes about you. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Um, there was a, a review of Blinjet One. You might have seen from freaking reviews. It was terrible. He trashed oh, it. Yeah. He said, this is garbage, right? Yeah. That hurt my heart. Right. And I mean, there were things he did where it's like, oh, you shouldn't use it that way. You know, like don't load it up so much with all the ice and hard stuff. But my goal with Blinjet 2, among other goals, was I want to make something that he's going to be impressed by because he's hard and mm -hmm. he's honest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, <laughs> we sent him a Blinjet 2, which was terrifying, actually, um, because it was like, oh, my God, I know it's good. But is he going to say it's good? I think he's going to say it's good. Hopefully. And, uh, <laughs> He put out a review of it and he said, this is the biggest turnaround I've ever seen for any product, like night and day difference. He's compared it to his big blender. He actually recommended it. And he said, wow. I got to be honest, this is not endorsed. This is not sponsored. I mean, you know, I'm not, this is not a paid thing. Like this is legit organic. And the comments were super nice. I mean, you know how people are on YouTube. I mean, there's a oh, lot yeah. of nice people. And then, you know, like my, my, uh, very inspirational quote, I like Cat Williams. If you ain't got haters, you ain't doing your job right. Right. Yep. <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm saying. And, you know, there's going to be haters no matter what. That's fine. You know, blend up your haterade with your, you know, crappy blender. I don't care. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but when, you, when you're talking about, you know, somebody like that, turn it around, uh, his opinion, total of 180, the comments were like, hey, good on you for listening to, to the people who were critical of you. And mm -hmm. I'll be honest, it hurt. It hurt really, really bad in my heart you know? And the only thing I could do was ignore it and pretend it didn't exist, or I could just do something about it. And that's what we did is we just did something about it. I watched that video like a hundred times and I'm like taking notes. Okay. This is what he doesn't like this, 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 this it's, that's how you make, that's how you get better. That's how you improve. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's all I'm ever going to do in my life. I'm just going to listen and try to become the best version of myself, best version of the product I'm working on, whatever it is. Um, and just try to make everybody happy. You're not always going to make everybody happy, but if you can make something that makes 99.9% .9 of people happy, then man. Yeah. Well, I think you just gave us the title of our clip, uh, drink your haterade with Blendjet 2. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like it. I like it. So well, we're going to put it on YouTube. <laughs> um, it's going to be fun. Good. This yep. has been fun, and uh, you know, I definitely am excited for you guys to get your own Blendjet 2s and, and try it out and have some fun with it. And uh, maybe we can have a cocktail hour. We can all do some frozen margaritas together. Yeah. Something good. I got a really good recipe, really good recipe that my neighbor uh, gave. He's like a mixologist type person. Uh, mm -hmm. he, he does it as a hobby, but man, he makes good drinks. It's a mint, mint rum drink with fresh mint leaf in there. Mm, it is good. Everybody that's tried it is like, I need that recipe. Sounds good to me already. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you guys so much. Appreciate the time. Thanks for having me. And uh, next time we'll be uh, virtually cheersing. Sounds good. Absolutely. All right. You have a good one, man. All right. <laughs> have a great 2021. Take Thanks. Care. You too. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Awesome. Dude, okay. As soon as we get our blend jets, we're going to schedule this.
and then we're going to have our drinks ready. <laughs> I'm not. Hey, he said he's got a good recipe. I'm down to try it. <laughs> can, can we try? Um, you ever watch the YouTube channel? Will it blend? Will it blend? No. <laughs> the guy puts random stuff in a blender and sees if it'll blend it. Like no, tech. we're not going to do that. <laughs> Here's rocks. <laughs> no, no, I mean like tech. tech like okay, people. So and- everybody who's listening and watching, don't do what Next Level's saying to do. Let's throw everything in there and see if it blends. <laughs> it's a funny YouTube channel. Go check it out. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, man. So make sure you guys do check the description below. Blendjet. Dot com. Uh, that's where you could find their products. They have some amazing stuff. There's some good rage about this blend jet for a reason. So make sure you guys do check them out. Um, it'll be all in the description below. They got some sales right now. So check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Um, cool. All right. So uh, one of the products that I did want to talk about that uh, I'm actually very excited about. Um, I think I okay, can. I hope I'm saying this right. Mob Boy. Mob Boy, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> so Mob Boy, uh, they got some cool stuff. And we do have uh, somebody behind the scenes that's going to join the show. So let's go ahead and bring him in. How's it going, Ryder? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. We're doing excellent. We're, uh, we're, I guess we're at the tail end of the TechFluence show now. Yeah, um, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So h- how was your experience with it? It was good. It was fun. You know, it was funny. I was, I was talking to um, someone on my team about, uh, oh, we need to like do these operations and stuff. And we didn't because no one was in our hangout. So we were like, oh, well, no one's following. Us. Oh, there you are. I think, yeah, you broke out for a second. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So you're saying just because you weren't able to see them, they were they were still there, though. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> yeah, with some of these different platforms, sometimes it does stuff like that. I know with like StreamYard, um, this is just uh, the recording. Um, sometimes we've gone live on YouTube and we could see everybody. Sometimes, depending if we're like, oh, this is going to be like a members only. It, it shows like nobody's there. And we're just like, um, if you could hit the thumbs up, because that tells us how many people are here. <laughs> right. So it's great. So I'm 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 very excited to see uh like I was just looking at your guys' website, um mobvoid.com. Um so yeah, well, I guess what do you what, what did you guys bring today to Techfluence to show off? So we brought the Mobvoid earbuds gesture. Um they were launching on Indiegogo in October. However, we are launching them on our website, mobvoid.com, as well as Amazon.com. Uh they're very interesting in the sense that you can use uh head gestures to con- to accept or reject incoming calls. So I don't have a pair on me because I'm waiting for my units to ship to my house. Uh, Mm -hmm. I can then distribute them to media, but basically they're uh, sort of a a shiny black uh, silicone tipped. Uh, You can nod your head twice to pick up a call, shake your head twice to refuse a call. Additionally, (laughs) our wake up word, like, you know, for example, Apple uses um, uh, Hey Siri or uh, Google uses OK Google. We have our own proprietary wake up word that works with pretty much every single um, AI assistant on your phone. So you could just say Hey Tico and it'll wake up the AI assistant on either your um, Android or your iPhone or, or anything in between. Additionally, awesome. you, can, you can swipe up and swipe down to control the volume. That's super cool. That is super cool. Uh uh, I don't think I've seen that yet. You could nod <laughs> to pick up. Right. You should do one for a circle. If you make a circle, <laughs> clockwise, yeah. go forward, counterclockwise, go backwards. <laughs> yeah, no, it's re- it's a really interesting technology. And um, we actually launched it on the uh, TickPods 2 and the TickPods 2 Pro last year at CES. And so this is sort of a... a, a a bit of an updated one. Um, it's got a much bigger battery than the uh, the ones we launched last year, and it's really interesting to see. Nice. What is the uh, what is the the the, the battery life? F- Fifty hours with the case, like mm-hmm. five charges, and then ten hours playback. Cool. Okay. Cool. That's Super. actually really good. A lot of times, the uh, the headphones usually go for about five to seven hours. Seven hours, like really stretching it. So I haven't really personally tested anything with 10 hours of battery life on a single charge that's really cool well let me know if you want to review unit <laughs> yeah hey, for sure. no. <laughs> yeah for sure i yeah he, i was <laughs> so i'm gonna i don't know if you could see the private chat 
it has uh, both of our emails. Uh, so mine's Rojas Entertainment. His is Mark Abbas, uh, both at Gmails. Um, I was trying to sign up on the TechFluence page before it shut down. But then after it shut down, I was like, man, it was too late for me to, to sign up. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> my team will be in contact with you, I'm sure. Awesome. We've been having so much fun behind the scenes with everybody. We've been in this um, recording session for three and a half hours right now. So it was a little bit difficult to jump back and forth between the actual conference booths and um, be, being behind the scenes with the actual companies themselves. So um, it, it's really cool. I haven't actually heard of uh, Mobvoi. Where are you guys located? Uh, so we were located. We are located in Beijing, China. We also have offices um, in Shenzhen and Wuhan um, and Suzhou, I believe. Um, so we are primarily based in China. However, I'm based in the U.S., though I used to be based in Beijing. Um, and yeah, and we have awesome. some people all over. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Uh, now, did you guys bring any of the of the of the phones? The, the, I'm sorry, the phones, the the watches. I have one. I am wearing the TicWatch Pro 3. It just ran out of battery. Uh, but the TicWatch Pro 3 is the first uh, Wear OS watch with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 4100 platform. So it's the newest platform. Um, very, It's a very impressive platform, and we're really excited uh, that we were the first one. Yeah, so some some. I, I was checking it out, too. I was just like, oh, this would be really cool to to really see. I'm always in the market for, for the smartwatches just because like, there's just so many cool things that you can do with them. Um, do they connect to a specific, do they have like, do they have like their specific apps? Can they be connected to any of the, like the Alexa, the Google assist, any of those devices? Uh, Google assistant. Yes. So it uses Wear OS, which is a uh, Google smartwatch platform. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a bunch of proprietary apps that, uh, can do anything from tracking, uh, your fitness, um, tracking your blood oxygen, uh, stress, breathing, stuff like that. That's cool. That's Can you super tell me neat. a little bit about the difference between the smart mode and the essential mode? Uh, so smart mode is, you know, as you would sort of expect, um, it has up to three days of battery life. Um, and then the essential mode is a little bit more uh, slimmed down. So you're only really able to see um, the essentials as you would expect. Uh, and that actually, I, we're the only ones in the market that are doing this right now. Uh, Switching between the, the two actually saves a lot, saves battery, which is why we're able to claim our watch lasts up to 45 days. Wow. Dang. Yeah, that's super cool. Super, super cool. And so, then it's very, it's very readable in, in direct sunlight, too. That's awesome. Yeah. So I, if you have any watches also, yep. I'd be gladly to, <laughs> to review them. Um, yeah. So you, you have our information. I don't, but I will get it. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so it'll be there in the private chat. Um, and then uh, we're going to make sure for anybody out there listening or watching, um, we will have uh, we'll have all this information in the description below. Uh, Mobvoi.com, M-O-B-V-O-I.com. Um, and yeah, is there any, any last things that you want to say before we let you go? Uh, no, I really enjoyed uh, TechFluence. I really enjoyed meeting you guys. It was really cool. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Hopefully we get to talk again in the future and uh, keep in touch for sure. Absolutely. Have a nice day. Thanks, man. Take care. Take care. Bye. Awesome. 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 I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm very excited to see the watch. I, 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 I like the earbuds. I, I, you know what? I'm actually excited about those earbuds too. How you could nod up, down. And then I wasn't kidding. Like, Hey, if I go in a circle clockwise, can it skip? And then if I went counterclockwise, can I go backwards? But then right now, just doing it, I'm just like, whoa, hold you on. Get dizzy. I was like, wait, nope, 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 never mind. We'll just keep it simple. Yes and no. <laughs> I could imagine like the older you get. Oh, man, even <laughs> even going up and down. <laughs> Stop it. You're going to hurt yourself. I am already hurt. <laughs> Maybe they've done their product testing and they realize that people get dizzy and they fall over. They hurt their heads. So just sticking to the simple yes and no is good enough. Yes and no. That's I, that's pretty neat, man. If you go yes, like someone's calling, you're just like, cool. And then yeah, you pick it up. What up? Mm. Somebody's calling. Next level. I know, when you said <laughs> gestures, I was like, does it work with the watch? And then I can do this kind of wave thing. I that's wasn't awesome. even thinking about moving my head. Yeah, that's that's that. I, I, like, I don't I don't think I've seen anybody do something no, like I that. haven't at least. No. So man, the future. I'm telling you, just. 
as soon as you think, as soon as you think like, oh, this can't get any better, <laughs> think again. So <laughs> check it out. Intuitive. Check it out. Mobvoid.com in the description below. We will drop that link. So make sure you check them out. Some good stuff there, man. All right. So, uh, yeah. So one of the cool things, too, that we like to uh, I see uh, David just came in. So we're going to go ahead and kick this one off. Uh, OK, I think next level you said it right. How was it? New. New era. New era. I hope we're pronouncing this right. New era. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some earbuds and we do have uh, David in the background. So let's go ahead and bring him onto the show. How's it going, David? Hi guys, I heard you're trying to pronounce New Hera. <laughs> new Hera? Is that how you say it? Yeah, New Hera. Yeah. New Hera. Cool. Yeah, new way to hear. <laughs> yeah, new way to hear. <laughs> yeah. By the yeah. way, uh, we were on the website. Uh, yeah. and uh, newhera.com and um, at the best it does at the top it says time's best inventions of 2020 so big congratulations on that um, it's Thank great to guys. get good recognition so um, yeah so just a quick intro uh, next level um, and myself Rojas we both have our own uh, respective YouTube channels we love yeah. to review tech we love to check it out um, we also have a podcast together where we do bring um, more tech conversations now into the platform, um, and it's going pretty good. Um, we're really excited to hear from you to see what exactly it is that you have um, for 2021. So, um, yeah, if you want to let us know what you got. Yeah, sure. Well, look, on the back of the, the Time magazine recognition, um, our product IQ Buds 2 Max is essentially a cross between a high-end Bluetooth headset and a hearing aid. Um, you know, most people in the developed world have some degree of hearing loss, typically kicks in anywhere between 30 and 40. Most people up till now have only had an option to go to an audiologist and get a hearing aid, but what we have done is combined some really cool hearing tech with what, you, what a consumer would expect from a high-end Bluetooth earpiece or headset and brought that all together to deliver uh, an ability for a consumer to actually enhance, personalize and enhance the way they hear, but also enjoy all the amazing sound fidelity, A and C, et cetera, that you expect from an earbud. Uh, very cool product. Um, time recognized it as one of the top inventions because really no one's doing this at the moment. Um, and uh, you know, pretty proud of, of what we're doing. We're, we're changing lives and improving the quality of people's lives at the same time. Yeah, definitely. So I'm just going through the site here. Uh, some of the buds, the IQ buds max. Yep. Uh, what is the lifetime on this on a full charge? So what you typically get is um, five hours of um, Bluetooth streaming per charge, and there's four charges out of the out of the charging case. Um, so five hours of Bluetooth streaming per charge. And then about eight hours of hearing processing. So if you're just using it for a hearing enhancement device, you're getting eight hours per charge. So 32 hours of you know out of out of the charging case. So essentially, uh, on the go, 20 hours of Bluetooth streaming and 32 hearing processing. Now I, uh, I'm not going to try to claim to know how uh, a hearing aid works per se, but I would assume <laughs> you would have some really good active noise cancellation abilities. Um, you know, the ability to do pass through audio where it could really amplify stuff as well. Um, what does it look like when you are listening to audio and then trying to pass the audio through it from your surroundings? How, how simple is that on your device? Uh, the text not easy. Um, what you call pass through is essentially being able to hear music, but also hear your environment at the same time. I mean, we, our first product that we launched back in 2016, uh, the classic IQ Buzz, we were really one of the first companies to ever do that. Um, but we've taken the technology to whole new levels with Max. Um, and it starts with personalising your hearing to well, personalise your buds to your own personal hearing profile. So you can actually go into the app with, with the Max Buds 
and do your own hearing assessment. And then we use uh, clinically certified algorithms to be able to calibrate the buds to your own personal hearing profile. So, you know, you get a real uh, personalized hearing experience once you've done that. But then you can also customize it. So, you know, we call it world on. Right, so world on is being able to hear your environment around you while you're still being able to listen to music. Then you've got active noise cancellation, which is, you know, really, really, really world-class ANC that we've embedded in the product. But you can also do other things like customising your environment, like increasing speech and dropping background noise or having directional focus. So if you're in a noisy environment, you want to have a conversation with the person in front of you, you want to block out the noise around you, You've actually what we call we call it focus, which is essentially directional focus. Um, you can change the EQ of your environment. So you've got lots of control to customize how you hear in different environments, as well as having this experience that we're having right now um, to collaborate online. Awesome. Do you find that you're focusing um, solely on uh, consumers with hearing loss, or is this made for anybody? Yeah, it's a, it's a really good question. Um, you know, we have a combination of customers that want the coolest in earbud tech uh, that actually think it's it's an advantage to have some sort of uh, environmental control. So they're buying it more for the tech and the ANC and the great sound fidelity. And then you've got another group of people who have got mild to moderate hearing loss or they've got tinnitus or they've got some auditory processing challenges and they can't control their, their sound environment that for that particular purpose. I would say that if you looked at, the, you've been on our website, if you look at the reviews that we get, uh, the vast majority of our customers, or at least the vast majority of the customers that are giving us reviews, have some sort of hearing or auditory processing challenge, whether it's hearing loss or tinnitus or auditory processing disorder or um, autism, you know, those sorts of um, challenges where they just need a little bit of help in controlling their environment but want to enjoy all the great, you know, sound sound fidelity, et cetera. So, yeah, look at that. So you've got that first one's moderate hearing loss. If you keep going down, you'll see next one's moderate hearing loss, mild hearing loss, and these are – you know, self-diagnosed, mild hearing loss, um, tinnitus, mild hearing loss. You know, actually, it's, it's believe it or not, tinnitus as a health condition um, is probably even more prevalent than hearing loss. And our product, even though it wasn't designed specifically to help people with tinnitus, a lot of people that actually use our product that in, you know, helps them hear better and control their environment. So there's another one with tinnitus there. So, Yeah. Yeah, that's some good stuff. It's it's great that that stuff like this could definitely help out uh, people that have, especially with that, you know, because because yeah, one of the things everybody wants is good sound quality. Can they hear? Is everything great? So it's good to see that that you're getting some really good feedback. Um, and then as I was, as I was scrolling down, a lot of a lot of good awards, you know, again from like CES and and yeah. so some yeah, really I would. Without blowing our own trumpet, I yeah. would say that uh, IQ Buds, uh, IQ Buds Two Max is probably the most awarded truly wireless earbud of 2020, no doubt about it. Um, and obviously, time really kept that up. Awesome. So um, the e easiest way to people to find you guys is going through the website. Yeah, absolutely. Newhearer.com. N U H E A R A. Uh, dot com. Uh, pretty much 90% of the volume that we do is through our own, uh, uh, you know, website stores uh, around the globe. So that's the best way to get it. Awesome. Um, cool. All right. Uh, if there's, is there any last words that you would like to say before uh, we let you go then? No, no. Other than to say, you know, we're super proud as a company that we're, you know, we're changing, changing lives with our technology and it's, uh, um, yeah, it's not easy to do. A lot of people try to do all the big tech companies from Apple to, to Google, to Amazon have tried to do this sort of tech, but none of them have been able to develop something that is as, as advanced and intelligent as, as I can us to Max. So I'm pleased to be on your show, guys, and um, have a good 2021. Awesome. You too. You take care. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's New Hera. New Hera. 
newhera.com and the way you spell that is n u h e a r a Dot com new here.com make sure you guys do check the description below um we've been at this all day and it's been it's been some great great stuff here so i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you guys do check the description below that way you, could, you guys could check out new here.com some pretty good buds so i hope you guys have enjoyed the 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 montage we have several versions of them um we're some of them are on the Rojas reviews channel. Some of them are on next level. Uh, and then some of them would be on beyond the streams clips. So, uh, make sure you guys do check it out, check it out, check it out. There's so much information. Um, talk to so many companies. Techfluence has done some amazing things, man. I think doing this whole virtual thing that we could just go online, log in, talk to different companies I think is great and it keeps everybody safe while they figure out this pandemic thing. Yeah. <laughs> Until the world figures itself out. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I, whatever clip interview company you enjoyed the most, do us a favor, hit that thumbs up and share it. And then what we'll do is we will, reach out to that those companies that you guys are thumbs upping the most and say, Hey, the community is really asking for a podcast interview. They want to hear more about your companies, more about your products. They want more of you guys. And mm -hmm. we are going to get them onto a podcast some way, some form, somehow, because we try to give you guys as much good content. We try to give you guys exactly what you guys are looking for. Um, it's been a crazy start to a brand new year and we haven't even really got started yet. So buckle up because it's about to be wild. It's about to go down. <laughs> you're going to start singing the song. Sorry for my glare. As you can see, I got sunshine in my life. <laughs> um, you know, it'd be really cool. <laughs> Next up was like, what? You stop singing. So um, as you as as most most of you guys know, we get product to review. Maybe just maybe we might do an Easter egg hunt. The best way to know if you're in the drawings is make sure you go to I don't know, BS clips and leave us a comment. Go to BS clips and leave us a comment on the product. Um, pick one thing that you like about that product. So if you're just like, hey, I want to check out um, some earbuds, go to that company and be like, hey, I like this company because they've been around for a while and they always produce quality. Hey, I like this company because they have a really cool uh, uh, blender. You know, I don't know. Go to every single clip that we have and you never know. We might be like, hey, you know what? We're going to be doing a giveaway of some sort and we're going to do an Easter egg hunt. And you just never know what we will be giving away. So I see what you're doing. You're trying to give me more work. I know that. Go to go to the BS clips. Go to all those ones from Techfluence. Leave us a comment. And maybe we'll feed next level some chicken wingies. <laughs> now he's going to be like, he's going to be like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh man. I didn't even use a soundboard. <laughs> cool. With all that being said, I think we're pretty much signing out for the day. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. And leave us a comment below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Peace!